that's that's how that works, right? Welcome back to the Living Dicks. You got a shiny Starly. Nice, and uh, you're almost at 17 chain for boot. Very, very cool. Uh, I am still hyped over our shiny Espeon from yesterday. I'm very excited to do some more shiny hunting soon, because that was just so exciting. It was ex so exciting. That was a great time. I'm going to go for work. Hope you had a great day at work. Um, I did a lot of grinding since Sunday's stream. Um, probably too much grinding, but we're near the end of this game. We're, we're about to take on the final gym. And I, you know what? I felt like it's time to get a lot of work. We're going to boost this number. 542? I want to see 560 by the end of the stream. I said it in the Discord, but I got the shiny Starly before. You had it before 17? Hey, wait, let me see the message. Before set. Oh, that's incredible. That's amazing. Um, so, currently looking at our party that we're going to be using for today's stream. I have all of our friends here pretty much up to 40. Some got a little higher, like Samurott, because I started using Samurott for a lot of the grinding. Uh, because I didn't want to use too many of these friends. Uh, since uh, Litwick evolves at the next level. And uh, Golurk is either 42 or 43, so I stopped Golurk. And I was like, I'll just let Samurott do most of the work. You can also peep there... Uh, right there, uh, Samrop now knows False Swipe. So we now have a False Swiper, uh, which is wonderful. Um, because of all the Pokemon we have, not many can learn False Swipe. Um, I also went through, grinded up all of these friends uh, to... They are all one level away from evolving and being done with each and every one of them. Except for Vanillish. I think we're going to bring Vanillish to the next gym with us because the next gym is a Dragon Gym. Uh, and Ice Beam... Uh, we'll just carry us through that gym. Uh, so they were just that higher pitcher quality, 144p. 144p isn't the best. Um, and then I also took Musharna and I grinded them all the way up to level 45. Uh, primarily so that way they are useful to us. I don't intend to use them on anything because they have a terrible move set. But I mainly have them for the move Yawn. Um, as well as if we take them to... I have a, uh, a heart scale... If we take them to the move relearn, I just need to look up where it is. Uh, we can uh, have them relearn uh, Hypnosis. Because Muna learns Hypnosis at like a little 18 or 19. Musharna does not. Uh, so give it Hypnosis so that we have a Pokemon who can put sleep. Because if you saw from the thumbnail, uh, we're going to be going after one of the legendary Pokemon today. Um, after we deal with the gym. So in our party right now, um, Fungus is at level 38. Um, let's pop this up on the screen so we can take a look at everything we have going on here today. Uh, we're planning to get a lot of stuff done today, uh, and I'm very much looking forward to it. So we have, uh, Fungus, who I believe is, is close to a level up, I want to say they're, th uh, 39, because I got them to 38. Uh, but that's kind of, that's kind of the idea of today, is a lot of Pokemon just getting a little bit of XP to evolve, so that way we can be done with them. Uh, because unlike in earlier games, I did the work up front instead of how I typically wait until after beat beating the game to go back and do the work. I'm like, this will keep it moving a little bit more quickly, especially since immediately after, uh, immediately after we beat Pokemon White, we're going into Black 2, so we're not fully moving to, like, a new generation or anything. I was like, I just want to make this, the, the process go a little bit faster, because typically we'll, we'll end up beating I agree. Bum, bum, bum. Typically, we'll end up beating the Elite Four, uh, and then have like two, like we've beaten the entire game, and then we have like two more episodes of just trying to finish our, our specific Pokédex, uh, which we may still have, but uh, we'll do the best we can there. Uh, also, very low on money. Spent all my money mostly on Ultra Balls, and we'll continue to spend our money on Ultra Balls because uh, if we're going Denied. after Navalion, then we are going to need. As much money as possible. Uh, so hopefully we can uh, earn some big buckaroos between all the gym, all the trainers that we're about to fight, um, as well as uh, the gym. Did not get a shiny boozle at 13. Sad. Repel's effects wore off. Cool. We need. We no longer have need of repel. We only have one repel left. It's not great. Did, did, did you want to fight? No, you gave me flame. Yeah, you gave me flame. It's okay, buddy. We're, I'm done talking to you. Bam, bam, bam. If I win, give me your Pokemon. Um, no. So wait, I, on that case though, if I win, I get to take your Pokemon, right? That's how this works. 
You have to watch ads on this? Do you really? I'm sorry. Can you get around ads? I don't know. Does becoming a member get rid of ads? I should probably know that. Hey, wait, let's, let's Google it and check. I actually don't know. Because I know on Twitch it does. Does becoming a YouTube member get rid of ads? That was easy. That was pretty easy. Uh, if you're a YouTube premium, oh, if you're a YouTube premium member, no, I mean like a channel member. You can subscribe to as many channels if all you need is a YouTube memberships are outlined above this month's uh, across YouTube. That doesn't say anything about like the actual one. Garbador, I actually have no idea about that. Question about BDSP, throw it at me. If I know the answer, I'll tell you. But if I don't know the answer, I won't tell you. Because I probably don't know the answer. But we can always Google it together and we can find out together. Also, I don't think I I don't think I ever caught Garbador. What's it mean if it shows your character from the front? That means uh, the Pokemon has a high IV. Um, at least one of the IVs is perfect. Uh, if if it shows your character before showing the Pokemon, one of the one of the IVs is perfect. I think it might be two of the IVs. ESP shows trainer for Pokemon. Um, I think it might be. I'll just pull it up right here. That means two perfect IVs. That means two perfect IVs. Yeah, it can happen about every six to ten encounters, especially if you're hunting the same Pokemon over and over again, because you're going to keep getting those resets. Um, that was easy. Someone is just going wild on the on the buttons today, which is even funnier because those points associated with Twitch. Uh, Wiz, I got into a heated insta debate where someone tried to tell me that you can't beat Alduin in Skyrim unless you kill him, and I had to link him to Skyrim Necromancy on my playthrough. <laughs> You're like, yeah, watch this. Oh, it's JJ. JJ, what are you doing? Stabbing with your shiny rolls? Aw, oh, that's... That's right. JJ, what are you doing? Are you just spending all your points right now? What's JJ like? Just be over in the Twitch chat just yelling? No, they aren't. Um, I'll get you out of here. Samurai to just easily take this out. I do like, though, that you, you linked it to that. You're like, no, 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 no. Look at this right here. Look at this right here. You're like, look, this person did it first try. It was for sure our first try. Alright. Um, Surf. Uh, he responded and apologized that he was wrong. Uh, that's when you just go, yeah, since you're wrong, you should totally subscribe to that person as well. I do- oh, shoot! Uh, speaking of, of fun things, I have a new video coming out on Thursday. I finished editing it last night. I recorded this video back in September. Uh, and I finally, you know, got around, got motivated, and I edited it last night. Um, it's a video that Corey and I, Corey being... Uh, the DM over for the vibe proficiency. Um, we I ch we both we randomized fire red. We each picked one Pokemon, and then we raced to see if we could find the Pokemon first. Um, it's a pretty exciting video. It's like a 25 minute video. Uh, I I had a lot of fun with it. Corey had a lot of fun with it. We want to do it again in the future. Uh, we want to do it with uh, like bring Tyler into it and do like Pokemon Crystal. Uh, but yeah, you should definitely check that video out on Friday. I am very excited about it. Litwick, I'm gonna need you to get out of here. Five, ten, I didn't hate it. Buzzle at 17, nice! Let's see how long it takes until you get a shiny. Fingers crossed you get an early shiny. Alright, payback. That's fair. High jump kick, miss! It's my favorite when high jump kick misses, because it's just like, well, you're screwed. Now we're going to do this. Surf, I think, hits all... F yeah. Galvantula, you're going to have to take one for the team here. And uh, take it and surf to the face. Denied. It's got to happen. That's good. Galvantula survived. Watched Don't Look Up yesterday. Quite good. I've heard about it. I've heard some good things about it. I have not had a chance to watch it. Man, these things are giving, like, no XP. These things are too low. We, we have so many Pokemon splitting the experience here that no one got experience. 
Uh, what's this? Uh, the Shopping Mall 9, Colorful and Wonderful. Is this, uh, is it actually a shopping mall? Welcome to Shopping Mall 9. It's called 9 because it's on Route 9. You can, uh, remember it by thinking of this. Done shopping? 9! That's a, that's a good one. On the first floor, they sell medicine, so they sell TMs. On the third floor, they sell... Oh, this is just like the... This is like the typical mall. Um, there's, there are even some people in the mall who will challenge you to battles. Interesting. Um, what sucks is I have no money. I have no money. Uh, all I say is look for the IRLF parallels in the movie. One character is quite literally meant to talk about. Interesting. Um, I wish like the Ultra Balls and stuff were like cheaper here because that'd be pretty cool. Um, should we... Actually, I still have the catch calculator up. Is an Ultra Ball better? Oh, wait, no, this is a cat... No, oh, wait, no! I was calculating with Gen 5. Catch calculator, uh, Gen 5. I was calculating Gen 8 instead of Gen 5. For Cabalion. Um, just because that's the potential... Potential we could, uh, we could catch today. Where is your name at? How do you spell your name? No, it's C-O. It's not Ka. It's Ko. Right? There we are. Kambalion. They're level 42. Um, and if they're at exactly 1% HP with an Ultra Ball and they are asleep, they have 11.8999. But if it's a... Uh, no, not a Nest Ball. It's a Dust Ball. Because that's it. If, it. if it's a Dust Ball, that actually decreases chance. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We're in a dark space. Increases chance to 18%. I'll buy four of those. Getting sawed on Cynthia and BDSP? No! Grinding some Far Cry 6. I've actually never really gotten into the Far Cry games. I, I bought a Far Cry game years ago. Uh, it was probably like Far Cry 5, I think that was the one that just came out. Uh, I bought it, didn't like it, played it less, played it for like half an hour. Um, so I just refunded it, because I, I bought it on Steam, and I was like, nope. I was like, not for me. Sorry. <laughs> I was like, this is not the game I wanted. Bum, bum, bum. Man, nobody can beat my speed and fury. Team is really good at my issues. I don't have ground Pokemon. That'll do for you. Especially Cynthia will heal so much. You know, we're about to catch one of the uh, pawn. Pawn are right, uh, We can catch them on Route 9. We're going to be getting them. Honestly, a really cool looking Pokemon. I really like the idea. Did I say Far Cry 5? Yes. I It was either Far Cry 5 or Far Cry 4. I just did not enjoy the movement. Uh, and I was like, nah, not in the game for me. I only, I only played like the first 20 minutes of it. And then I refunded it. Bum, bum. Not very effective with this. I don't need it to be effective. I don't need it to be effective. We'll force our way through it. That was easy. That was easy. Bum, bum. I could see it being five. Join our team. Actually, I will force you to join our team. That's not how this works. Devil Goes at 4, that is one of the best in the series. I mean, it could have been the best in the series. I just didn't enjoy the movement style. The way you moved in the game did not jive with me. Um, I don't think there's any way for me to check, is there? Because, like, none of it would be downloaded to my sh machine to even check. Um, yeah, I don't think there's any way for me to check. Was Boozle's hidden ability? Uh, I don't know. I can check. I can check for you, though. Hidden ability. Uh, their hidden ability is... Hack? Oh, how do you even say that? Oh my gosh, this... <gasps> Albapedia, what's wrong with you? Uh, Water Veil is their hidden ability. Interesting. I feel like it's something about to crash. That did not go well. Far Cry 1 and 4 are really good. 5 and 6 were okay because they drastically changed the mechanics and movement. Maybe it was 5 then. Yeah, I just, I did not enjoy the movement. Um, are we in the next city? I, I, we're going to come back to Route 9 because there's a few things we need to catch there. But, uh, oh, wait, plot! 
Hello, Wiz. This way. No, wait. <laughs> Blot. I need to heal. <sighs> Gaddis, what a liar. Desperately trying to con everyone with his speech. Uh, that's correct. Our Lord Inn has combined his power with a legendary dragon-type Pokemon and intends to create a new world. We herald the return of the hero of Unova, founder of this region. Dragon, a legend, a hero? Pasta? Pokemon are different than people. They are living beings who contain unknown potential. They're living beings whom we, the humans, have much to learn. They're beings whose greatness we should acknowledge. Beings who should be freed from our oppression. Freed? Pokemon, what's that? We, Team Plasma, invite you to join us. We want all, we want to create a new world where people and Pokemon are both free. Ladies and gentlemen, I ask you now, please, release your Pokemon. And so I end my plea to you today. Thank you, one and all, for your attention. I like how they just pick up their flags. They're just like, put that on the back. Bye. Is it true? Have we been making Pokemon suffer? Mm, maybe we should release our Pokemon like Team Plasma says. No way! Without Pokemon, I'd be lonely and sad! <laughs> Same. Uh, the movement, the new ones is fast. It's kind of like playing Doom where uh, her starts flying constant movement. No, it's like, like, actually like the way the movement feels. Not fast or slow. I, I just, I don't know. It was more about the fun mobile aspect. Less than anything, less than man say hi. What was that about? That speech was off the chart stream. The cooperation of people in Pokemon is how Unova came to exist to begin with. If a Pokemon really didn't want anything to do with humans, it would simply leave. Capturing a Pokemon in a Pokeball doesn't mean you've captured its heart. Let's go, Wiz. As close as we're standing, like, the brim of my hat was just in Alder's face. It's been a while, Iris and Drayden. Oh, oh, Mr. Alder. Oh, and the guy that helped out that one time. What's wrong? What does the wandering champion who left the Pokemon League need from us? Um, briefly, my request is this. Tell us about the legendary Dragon-type Pokemon. Are you talking about Reshram or Zekrom? Uh, what's the sudden interest? Uh, moments ago, a troublemaker known as Giedis was here. He said a trainer named In has reawakened Reshram. Yes, that trainer called Im apparently told Wiz here to search for the other Dragon-type Pokemon. Hmm, let me check that I have this straight. This In or what have you, presumes to set the two Dragon-type Pokémon against each other in battle to test his convictions. Oh no, the Dragon-type Pokémon get along so well! That's right, Iris. The one who makes Pokémon battle are the trainers, and it's so the trainers and Pokémon can get to know each other better. I'm going to the Pokémon League. No, I guess in this case I should say I'm returning to the Pokémon League. Of course, I'll defeat him. I'll teach him about the beauty of this world, where Pokémon and trainers live together in harmony. Also, Wiz, I await your arrival. Once you've obtained the elusive badge, come to the league. The elusive gin leader is tough. Take care, isn't it, Iris? Just literally standing right there. I'm counting on you, Drayden and Iris. Oh, he's gone. Is he okay? He, he looked kind of scary. Uh, don't worry, Iris. He's the strongest trainer in all of you. Well, Wiz, is it? Uh, come to my home. As Alder asks, I'll tell you everything I can about the legendary dragon-type Pokemon. Iris, child, please show the way. You bet. If it's Opalo City, I can take you anywhere. As for the story of Reshram and Zekrom, well, we'll tell you all we know about it. This way. Bum, bum, bum. Oh, that way. Can I go? Can I go to the Pokemon Center first? I can. Dope. All right, we'll come back for plot after I go back to Route Nine and catch some Pokemon. All right, because Route Nine also has. Bum, 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 bum. Then we need to go back up, back up page. All right, this is Route Nine. So Route Nine has Ponard, which we need. Um, they also have uh, Delosion, Duocean, whatever the name is. Uh, those are the two things we need to catch on this route. And so we shall. Twenty percent, twenty percent, and thirty percent spawns for them. Uh, it should be pretty easy. Uh, we do have a false swiper, which is the best we can do. What sucks, though, is I don't believe it affects one of the two. Nope, didn't want to open their summary. Quite the opposite of what I wanted to do. Alright, let's see what happens. You're who I need! Duo Shin? Duo Shion? Duo, the ocean? Du, duo, oh, shion. 
Okay, fine. That actually did more. I, I was expecting false swipe to not do that much. I was really expecting false swipe to almost do nothing to this. Oh no! It endeavored us. What a play! What an absolute play to an endeavor us. Duo Shin. Duo Shin. They're gonna kill me here, that's fine. I did what I, I got what I needed from that, which is they're down to one HP. Uh, and I didn't wanna waste a uh, hyper potion. Um I don't wanna go litwick because of uh because of flame body. But they're down at one HP, this should be a pretty easy catch. Hopefully. One, two, three. No! Come on, buddy. I don't have that many Ultra Balls to go around, and I have too many things to catch. We only have 20 Ultra Balls. That's why, like, we're, we need to. That's why I'm doing all the gym stuff before we go look for uh, Kabbalah, because I need as much money as possible before we go do that. There we go. Our 543rd Pokemon to be added to the living decks. That, that was, was easy. easy. That that literally was easy. Uh, it wasn't easy. We almost lost a Pokemon. Do you want to give a nickname to it? No. All right. Um, so we'll go ahead and pop this up here and bloop. So here's the thing. I have an extra one in the PC. So the one we just caught, I just need to level it up to level 41, and then we also do that as well. So we just need to evolve that one, and we're good there. JJ, are you, like, in the YouTube chat? Because you're, like, redeeming all the things, but are you actually here? Also, Garbodor. Because I haven't caught you yet. Was I planning to catch you in Black 2? That might have been my plan. It is my plan was to catch it in black too. I'm fine with that, just because, honestly, with the amount of Ultra Balls I have... Oh, wait, we also need to go uh, heal anyways. Also, why can't I get away from you? I'm a higher level than you. I... Uh, flash. Flame Burst. Body Slam? Yeah, way to go. You don't have a move that can affect me, yet you're not gonna let me leave. You're just gonna keep stockpiling. That's, you know what, fair. Just keep keep raising that uh, defense and, and special defense. Can I leave now? Do you mind if I leave now? Body slam, it's, you know what, it still doesn't affect me, interesting enough. Interestingly enough, it's it still doesn't affect me. I was really hoping that was gonna kill. Alright, it dies next turn. Swallow? Oh, well, maybe it doesn't die. It's just gonna quickly heal itself. What a dick. What a dick. Hey, but all of its defense is just dropped, so maybe this will kill. It does kill, dope. Okay, we need to go back and heal so that way we can get our... Fungus goes up to level 39. Oh, wait, it might be evolving here. Is this Among Us? Oh no, I'm feeling pretty sus. Bum, bum. Our 544th Pokemon to be added to the living decks. The very suspicious Among Us. Welcome on in, Among Us. Fun fact, uh, the Among Us video game was actually based off this Pokemon. That is a fake fact that I just made up. Bum, bum. Super sus. Super sus. Can I get on a bicycle? I like how Iris was, like, so ready for us to tell this story. Watches me walk to the Pokemon Center and then just sees me run off. And she's just still standing there. Like, are you... Are you coming? Are you... We're gonna tell you a story. Meanwhile, old dude's just sitting inside, like... Where, where are they? He, he, like, keeps peeking out the window and sees Iris standing out front. He's like, what happened to the kid? Where did he go? I also don't know why I'm yawning so much today. I definitely shouldn't be. 
I think I'm yawning because I slept too much. Isn't that a weird thing? You you can either be tired because you didn't sleep enough, or you're tired because you slept too much, which doesn't make any sense to me, but is what it is. See, we have a uh, Solasis and Duoshan right there. Uh, so when we evolve that one, we are good to go with that evolution there. All right, so we'll take this off here. Bum, bum. All right, so we got that, and uh, then we will grab this stuff here. Um, should we, vanilla, should, vanilla should we're gonna save until we go into the gym. Um, I mean, we could really just grab anyone here because they just need a singular level. Denied. Denied. <laughs> All right, so we will give them the EXP share. No, it works. It, it works. It's just very slow in the go. Um, I don't know why that is. I set up all the commands today. The commands are just super slow. Commands are just super slow. How are you doing, Indigo? Hope you're having a wonderful day today. Love me some love face. <laughs> Same with, like, banning stuff and whatnot also takes a little bit longer than it does on Twitch, which is kind of interesting. Not sure how I feel about that. All right, Ponard, can we see you? We got the 20%. We're getting all the 20%s right now. All the 20 Indigo! Indigo out here being the first channel member. Indigo, thank you so much for becoming a member. You have access to all the fun things that members have access to. Primarily, uh, your, your name will be at the end of every YouTube video starting uh, the following week after membership. Uh, just because those other videos are already posted and scheduled. Uh, you have access to uh, membership-only content uh, that'll be uploaded every so often. It's not its not new content, it's just video, failed videos that are funny, uh, but they weren't long enough. Mostly Town of Salem stuff that I only got like two nights in and then just had a stupid death or something. Uh, and like failed recordings, those will be going up. You also have access to full VODs of streams. Uh, immediately as soon as the stream ends. Uh, thank you so much for the support. So kind of you. Also, I don't know why I can't run away from any of these, uh, from any of these Pokemon. Yeah, there are, uh, I started saving these Town of Salem videos so long ago. Um, there is a giant folder worth of them. Um, I even have some, uh, with Reptar. I have a video of this title, Does Arso Failed with Rep? Uh, just a video I didn't post because I didn't do really well in it. Uh, but I still have it saved. I have one with Shadow. Uh, with Shadow Dwar, where Shadow just didn't record the video and my video wasn't great. Bum, bum. You also have access, uh, you have, you also get a new mascot Pokemon. You two members get their own mascot Pokemon as well. So you can get, a, you can get another mascot Pokemon if you want to do that. If you want it, you can make it happen. Estimation point member if you're interested in it. Of course, you never have to. No need for it. Oh, why am I getting all of the 20% spawns? But I can't get... Oh, no, Pottered is a 20%. The 30% was Duotion. Duotion. All right, here we go. It's right here. Popping right now. Not what I was looking for. Indigo, did you see... Were you here yesterday when we got the Espeon? We ended up evolving the Espeon yesterday, uh, and its name is uh, Karina. Uh, since Espeon is uh, one of your mascot Pokemon. So that's pretty exciting. You have uh, uh, our second shiny that has a nickname. Our first shiny that has a nickname uh, is uh, the Gallade and Gardevoir, which were both by Mr. Aerial. Also, is there a way for me to change what that said? It just says, Welcome to Wizard. I feel like there's got to be a way to rename that. I do have the full clip of it. Uh, I'm planning to edit it tonight uh, to be a TikTok video. Uh, I was here for the Eevee, but not the Eevee. It took me a while to, to, to figure out how to evolve it. 
uh, friendship-wise. Also, in this generation, does poison not hurt you outside of battle? I don't think it does. Interesting. You have work in 24 minutes? So sad. So sad. Hopefully it'll be a good night of work, though. Honored, where... Where are you? Also, what level does Bunnard evolve at? We're also hopefully going to get Axew today. Because uh, that's Axew's in the same cave that Cambellion's in. Uh, so we should hopefully be getting them today. Which is why I was like, we're, we're going to get so many Pokemon today. And then we have, if we end up going to Victory Road, I don't I don't know if we'll go to Victory Road. It honestly depends on how long it takes. There you finally are, Pawn. There this thing finally is. It depends on how long it takes us to catch other things. <clears throat> what level does it evolve at? Because is it worth catching two today or because of how poor my luck has been trying to catch this thing? I actually don't even see it on my list here. I just keep... Oh, there it is. Nope, there it's not. I just keep scrolling past it. I'm just gonna have to search for it. Uh, it evolves at level 52. Yeah, so we're only gonna catch one right now, and I'll catch the other one off, off the stream. It's six on. Emerson! Emerson, our second member of the channel. Thank you so much. That is so kind of you. Thank you so much. Gotta finish truck. All the frozen cool clothes stick comes in on a separate truck. Oh, yikes. And I get the luxury of working on it alone. Indigo, I feel like you may be sarcastic about the luxury of working on it alone. Don't get a crit. Don't get a crit. Don't get a crit. I want a crit. Give me a crit lit. I know it's not very effective, but it's the easiest way for me to do this without killing it. Although it keeps you... Okay, scary face. Uh, does scary face just lower speed? Yeah. Partially, which is why it keeps on speeding me. Um, how much does poison do? Okay, next, I die next round. Um, do I have a full restore? I do have a singular full restore. Let's just do it. Probably, probably should have saved it. But it's fine. It's fine. Sounds very luxury. I used to yeah, get to do truck order, uh, back when I worked at a uh, fast food restaurant when I was younger. Um... It was great, because you'd come in early, because the truck would always come in at, like, 6 a.m. Uh, so you always came in, like, you'd work a morning, uh, you'd come in, you'd unload the truck, which took, because they'd schedule three of us to do it, um, and we're not unloading the truck, because the, the, the delivery person unloads the truck and sets it on the ground, but then we take it from there and we just put it in the freezer and do a count of it. Our 545th Pokemon to be added to the living decks is Bonner. Honestly, Bonner and Bisharp, I think, are really fun designs. They fight at the Bisharp's command. They cling to their prey and inflict damage by sinking their blades into it. I think they're a really cool design. I'm a big fan. Tara, how are you doing? Uh, but so, we, we would come in. There'd be three of us. We'd do it. We'd get it done in like an hour and a half. Um, and then from there, we would go home. Cause that's all we do for the day uh which i mean it wasn't great as far as like like if you need money but we are high schoolers so we didn't care we're like yeah we'll work an hour and a half on a saturday um and they would give us uh breakfast before we left uh, which was free so like theoretically i mean if we if you think about it especially back then i came in like it's terrible now especially like as an adult because i was getting paid 725 for that so i'd come in Make fourteen dollars. Like that didn't even pay for my gas. Why did I do that? I was thinking back on it. This was a terrible idea. This is so stupid of me. Why would I do that? <laughs> I take it all back. Ah, just a little further. We caught our tooth. No, we could just leave again. I'm just kidding. We'll come. We'll come this time, Iris. This is it. Now we can leave again. Now both of them are inside just looking like, where's he going? No, we'll go in. We'll go inside. Uh, I'll explain. You have a very nice house. What you're holding is the Darkstone. Zekrom, who will likely awaken from the Darkstone, and Rushron, who is already awake, 
were once the same Pokemon. That single dragon Pokemon, along with twin heroes, brought a new region into being, and people and Pokemon had happy lives. One day, however, the twin heroes, the older brother who sought the truth, and the younger brother who sought ideals, began to argue about how to decide which of one of them was right. The single dragon-type Pokemon they had been with them all that time split its body into two. One sided with the older brother, and one sided with the younger brother. In its, pure, in its pursuit of truth, the white dragon-type Pokemon sought to usher in a new and better world. Its name was Reshiram. And the other, the black dragon-type Pokemon, sought ideals to usher in a new world, a world of hope. Its name was Zekrom. Because the two of them were once the same entity, their battle raged end endlessly, and neither one could be declared the winner. They simply exhausted themselves. The twin heroes proclaimed that there was no one side to what was right and ceased the conflict. But, uh, the two heroes' sons started the battle again, and an instant later, Reshram and Zekrom destroyed Unova with fire and lightning. Very, very frightening. Mamma mia. Then they disappeared, but... But if people work with Pokemon in the right way, we don't have to worry anymore about the world being destroyed. I mean, <laughs> Reshiram and Zekrom worked hard for everyone and made a new region. So it should be alright, I think. <laughs> True. Pokemon cannot speak. People may hurt Pokemon even more by imposing their selfish thoughts on them. But no matter what, Pokemon and people believe in each other, need each other, and will continue to live each together. Yeah, so I'm never gonna forgive Team Plasma for trying to separate Pokemon and us. Oh, sorry. We got a little off topic at the end. That is everything we know. Unfortunately, we don't know how to wake up the legendary Pokemon. That's not helpful. I made a promise to Oliver. You must win the gym battle from the Opelucid Pokemon Gym. Iris, you go and be Wiz's opponent at the Pokemon Gym. Uh, yay! Look out! I'm really, really strong, just like Drayden. Oh, are they... I, I guess in Pokemon Black, it's... it's He's the, the gym leader? What will it accomplish to separate the worlds of Pokemon and people? The way we live together now, with different beings, understanding and forgiving each other is much richer. That's my relief. Belief. You've been told to? What have you been told to? Make a hello command for mana here, since someone doesn't have a YouTube account yet and can't chat. JJ, you don't have a YouTube account? Make a YouTube account. Um, so the reason I don't have a meta mana command here... Because uh, that's what I was thinking about doing. It actually doesn't work with YouTube. Uh, it doesn't track your time in the YouTube stream and give you mana. Uh, so I'm going to have to come up with a new idea for that. I'm coaching Iris, but honestly, she's much stronger than me since she came here. Is What do you got? What are you two doing? Concerned about your Pokemon's weight? You don't need to put it on a diet. Just let it hold this. A floatstone. Okay. Why? No, but why are the two of you up here? I have an item that I don't know how to use. Would you like to give it and try and see if you can make it work? Here it is. A ring target. I actually have no idea what that is. If a Pokemon holds a ring target, it can be hit by, even by a move that would usually have no effect. For example, a normal type move would hit a ghost type Pokemon. Mastering this item is a bit tough. Actually, it's very tough. But think how useful it could be. I Wait, so holding it would allow a ghost type to be hit by a normal type move? I don't I don't see the, the benefit. I don't see the benefit. The hopes of ancient people are put together into this melody. I'll bring them back to us now. <sighs> JJ, you should uh, you should create a, a YouTube uh, account. Uh, that way you can subscribe on YouTube. Let's just ban JJ. Easy solution. Easy solution. Super easy to ban because they don't even have an account. Am I going to shiny hunt for more Eevees? Absolutely. Absolutely, I need more. Today, probably not, but I do need more. Um, alright, so we got that stuff there, so we can just pretty much head to the gym. Uh, we can head and take on the gym real fast. Uh, which means we are going to, uh, we're going to bring Vanillit, Vanillite onto the team. Uh, Vanillish, because they're just gonna, they're gonna carry us through this gym real hard. Um, what else are they weak to? What else are they weak to? Brum, brum. Wait, is Bulbapedia just down right now? I think Bulbapedia is down right now. Uh. Denied. I think Bulbapedia is down right now. Which is kind of irritating. Or it's just not working for me. They haven't tweeted. 
Has anyone tweeted at them? 38 minutes ago, website not working. Okay, dope. Okay, so I'm not the I'm not the only person who's having issues with their website, which does kind of suck, because I use so much of their website to for our living deck stuff, because it gives me the exact um, levels and different stuff. All right, we'll switch out Golurk. Uh, we'll let them hang out in the PC. Bullapita won't work for me either. Interesting. It must, it, I guess the website's down. Because anytime I do living decks, I keep a, a walkthrough of the... I don't know why I did air quotes, because it is a walkthrough. I keep a walkthrough up for whatever game I'm playing. Not because I, I want to be, like, walked through the game. Uh, but primarily so I know what Pokemon spawn on each route and what their percentages are. What is the point of this? Is there a hidden item here? Is it, okay, is it just for looks? Um, Jim's not up there. I use Cerebi. Cerebi's not... I use Cerebi for... Just about everything else. Um, Bordipedia is the, the girl who knows the heart of dragons. Did they update the sign when Iris decides she's fighting, taking on the gym challenger? Welcome to Opelucid Gym, the Unova region's strongest and biggest trial. First off, please take this fresh water. Thank you for the water. Speaking of, let's have some water together. Water. 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 <sighs> water. The path around. Yeah, buddy? I just said the path. Percy, what's, what's. What? 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 There's there's literally no one outside. There's a camera pointed out. Percy, I can see what's ha There's No one has even walked past the front door. If you're barking at a ghost, that's fine. Ask them if they would be willing to, to put in some rent money. I guess ghosts don't have money. Maybe they can do the dishes. They're fine to live here. I would just ask that they maybe just pull their weight. That's all I ask, you know? The path around this gym is shaped like two dragons. The path changes when you step on the switches of the dragon's arms. Pay attention to how the dragon's next move. Bobapedia works now? Perfect. They got that back up fast. Oh, uh, was this, this is not a thing? I, why, why do you have just a random rug there? The Dragon Gym in Opelous City is where tough trainers show they can carve out their own path. Hey, buddy. Welcome back. All right. Is it working now? Nope. Not working for me. Yeah. Still not working for me. Maybe you'll just give it a minute and we'll start working again. Fracture. So the great thing about this gym is they're all weak to ice. We just don't outspeed them, which is sad. Maybe a two shot? I don't know, a one shot, nice. I'll take Vanilla's just carrying us through this gym. Okay, that's also not a thing. I don't know what we're supposed to step on. All right, we're on the tail. Um, okay, that pops over there. Okay, we can only go that direction. I will tell a trainer who beats me how to move forward in this gym. It evolves at level 47. Cool. cool. That's what I was thinking. I was like, I think that's why I got it up to 46. Because it was another one I used uh, just to keep training other Pokemon because I'm like, I need to do it all. So Dino, fun fact with Dino, uh, we can encounter them on Victory Road. Uh, we are only going to catch one. We're only going to catch one in this playthrough uh, because Zuelos, their second evolved form, uh, spawns on Victory Road in Black 2. Uh, and since this is a high level evolution, we're just gonna save this uh, the rest of the line for uh, when we get to Black 2. Just to make it a little bit easier on myself. Why do these people only have one Pokemon? Jump from a triangle mark. When you land on a switch on an arm, the dragon's head will move, but you can move ahead. Oh, okay, so you have to jump onto a mark. So that's what the marks are for, but you have to jump onto them. And that causes the head to move. Okay. So do we need the do we need the head to move again? Do you understand how the dragon's head moves? Not really. Are you gonna try and uh, catch an evolved? Yeah, 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 not in this game. Not in this game. We're just gonna catch Dino, and then we're gonna catch uh, uh, the rest of the line. Because what it's as well as who's next? 
but uh, but yeah, Zwalus is next because Hydragon evolves at level 64. Such a late evolution. Such a late evolution. Um, I kind of hate that when Pokemon evolve at that late of a level. Uh, like, Dragonite at, like, 55 is so irritating. Perseus, it is a school bus. Let the kids get off the school bus. It's okay. It's okay for them to get off the school bus, buddy. He's not used to the school bus coming around because they've been on, uh, winter break and the school's just reopened. So Percy is not enjoying hearing the school bosses. Bum, bum, I believe that is uh, Krokorok's level for evolution as well. But yeah, it's just really irritating when Pokemon evolve at such late in the game. It's like, well, I can't really use them in a playthrough. Because, like, what's the point? <sighs> that was a solid crit. That was a solid crit that I didn't need. Um, so if Krokrok evolves now, uh, we are going to head back to Pokemon Center. Yes, it does! Beautiful! Our 546 Pokemon in the Living Dex is our evolution here. Uh, we're going to be getting a lot of these evolutions today, which is very exciting. Very exciting to pump these numbers up to the better of the line, which is Crocodile. Which looks super cool. Crocodile looks super, super cool. Um, so let's scroll up here to wherever they are. Bum, bum, bum. Crocodile, there we go. We got extras in the PC, so we're good there. Very exciting. And then we will switch them out for someone else. Take, can I dig to leave? What if you could? What if I could just dig and just immediately get out? Um, I don't know if there is a way for me to backtrack. Oh, maybe there is. Maybe I can just go down the tail. I can. I can just pop back this way. Alright, thanks. I'll be back. I'm gonna go heal. Don't mind me. Do I go straight down here to get to the Pokemon Center? Oh, okay. This is... Okay, I know where this is. I understand. I understand the, the layout of this gym now. And we're going to try and get as many of the legendaries that we can in this game. Uh, any Pokemon you wish to get... I would, I would love to see some Pokemons that haven't gotten alternate forms yet get alternate forms, which is like the Growlithe line. I'm very happy they're getting an alt form. Um, who else would I like to see? I think it'd be really rad to see some more starter Pokemon get like alternate forms like the Kanto starters. I think it'd be kind of rad if they had alternate forms. Uh, which I know the Kanto starters already get so much love, uh, and frankly, like, you could say they get overused, but they are people, like, it, it's a lot of people's first Pokemon they ever had, so I do think it'd be really cool if they got an alternate form, uh, like, I have no thoughts on what their alternate form would be, but I think it'd be cool to see them with different forms. Um, other than that, what's, like, a, hmm. what's, like, another Gen 4 Pokemon? I would want to see. Like, stuff that's got another alternate forms I don't want to see. I want to see a new Eeveelution. I think that'd be cool if they gave us a new Eevee. Um, ooh, Flygon. Flygon with an alternate form would be really cool. Flygon with an alternate form would be really, really and I don't think Fly Flygon, um, I don't think Flygon's, li Flygon hasn't really had any changes in a while. The Vesky or Drapion would be cool, also very cool. Alright, Scraggy, we just gotta get a single level 2, and they evolve. All of the Mons right now we have in that first little spot, they just have to get one level and they evolve. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah, Kanto starters for sure. Um, and not just Charizard, because they typically love to just give things to Charizard. And it's like, can we give something to a, someone other than Charizard? <laughs> Alright, up we go. 
And then I think we pop onto this arm here, which should move the head again. I like how it's just going up. That takes us up there. I feel like the, le the neck is also stretching, unproportionately. It is a really cool gym layout, though. I am a fan of it. Would be absolutely terrifying to walk up here, though. Absolutely terrifying to walk up here, though. Water! Water! Water. Water. Thank you for the hydration. I need to figure out a way to set up, like, some channel point stuff on YouTube. I don't know if there is any way, because they don't have channel points like Twitch does, which is something I, I want YouTube to add. Because I think it's really a fun way to get your chat involved with doing stuff. Um, I wanted to set up the mana store here, but it seems like you, it, it doesn't work with YouTube, which is kind of frustrating. Um, so you'd only be able to spend the mana if you earned it on Twitch, which I feel like isn't worth it for that work around there. Like, that doesn't feel like how I want to do that. Um, I can't see the Pokey draw because I'm not looking at the Twitch uh, redeemables. So I wouldn't be able to see what was uh, what was redeemed there. Um, we'll pop this way. Don't worry, dude. I was going to come fight you either way. Thanks for coming. I will happily welcome you. But I will be a bit rough on you because I need your money for Ultra Balls. Is the water thing a reminder? Yeah, because I, I need to be reminded to drink water. Especially when just talking nonstop. I need a good reminder to be like, hey, drink some water. I am someone who will easily get uh, dehydrated. I mean, most I feel like most people are people who easily get dehydrated because you just forget to drink water. Especially when I'm at work, which isn't great because I work out in the sun in Florida. It's not smart to not drink water. But sometimes I just forget. Oh, is that a third dragon down there? That is a third dragon down there. This head is tricking me by thinking that I'm going to use this one. Maybe I will use this one to get up there, but we just have to fall off from even another higher place. I don't know. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Should we try any more TOS YouTube streams, like rotate between uh, Living Dicks and TOS YouTube? I don't know. So, my thoughts on that is... I feel like, because YouTube gets all the other Town of Salem stuff, um, I feel like keeping it over on Twitch where it, it's... So my, my, my big idea behind that um, is Town of Salem is a niche game. Um, meaning if people search for Town of Salem on Twitch, they're honestly never going to find more than like 10 channels live playing Town of Salem on Twitch. If you search Pokemon on Twitch, you're going to find thousands of channels live playing Pokemon. And Twitch doesn't have a really good searchability function um, like YouTube does with its recommended, which YouTube's isn't perfect by any means, but it's better than Twitch's, at least on senses of that. Um, so where I feel like we could, we could, I don't know that it would be worth it. That's true, that's true. We just go to Facebook Gaming. We take over Facebook Gaming. I think that's the play. Also, I, this Nightbot message is going to get annoying to me. I just set it on its default. That is going off way too often. That is way too often of a message. Like, calm down, Nightbot. Uh, oh, it's on 15 minutes. Let's up that to, like, 30. I wish I could just copy over all of my stuff from Twitch to YouTube's one, but it just doesn't work that way. What? Scraggy is evolving our 547th Pokemon to be added to the Living Decks, a beautiful evolution of Scrafty into, nope, said that backwards, of Scraggy into Scrafty. Scrafty. And open up the Google Doc here, hop back to Gen 5, not Gen 3, and Scrafty. Can you have commands on YouTube Live? Uh, what do you mean, like uh, Nightbot commands? Yeah, those are set up. I just got those set up uh, earlier today. Uh, and they're, they're just having a little bit of growing pains right now with it just not being set uh, completely perfect. Oh, wait, how do I backtrack out of this? How do I backtrack from here? Oh, 
Oh, wait, does that... Oh, that just... Put that all backwards for nothing. Now I have to literally run all the way around here again just to move that again for no reason. That's irritating. That's super irritating. I don't know how I exit the gym from this side. That's the one thing I hate about super lo large gyms like this, is easel easily able to to exit to come back in. What if I walk this way? Okay, that puts that there. What is going? Okay, I can't go that direction. Might have helped if I just looked that that direction was shorter. Right, that puts hand down there. Turns head almost that way. I don't think there's get any getting out of this gym at this point, so I think we'll just continue to go. Interesting. Put me back over here. I don't know what getting back over here does for me. Interesting. I don't know why I'd want to be back over on this dragon. Did not mean to jump over. That's super frustrating. That's super frustrating. Did not mean to jump over that. I don't like I take I take back all my compliments to this gym earlier. I don't like this gym. I don't like this gym because there's not an easy exit and entry. I mean there's an easy entry, I guess. There's not an easy exit. And then after we do Facebook gaming, I think it's time to take over the Steam gaming marketplace. Uh, really, really bring that to life for us. Okay, so we'll pop back down here. Which moves the head. Oh, okay, that does actually move the head somewhere. Oh, because you do have to full rotate because it moves it away. Gotcha, that makes sense. That makes sense. Because it moves back and you move it the other way. I'm just not going to worry about exiting the gym to, uh, to get another Pokemon to take. Although I'm going to need to exit the gym to heal, am I not? Vanillish, I think, is going to evolve after this trainer. Which I, I'm really only using Vanillish to carry me through this gym because they are super effective and they're over level. Just so that we can get onto the good stuff. We're gone. Because I don't think even if I. I mean, I might be able to save myself for the gym leader as long as I don't die. I can just heal right before it and just take the few avalanches because we're mostly one shotting. Rough skin? How was I rough skin from Avalanche? That's a physical touch? Okay. Alright, weird flex. Alright, where does that move the head to? That puts it all the way up there. Alright, do we have... I feel like that'd be all the trainers. That puts us on the back of this tail here. That puts us behind that dude there. Still have one more trainer here. Uh, let's quickly heal, because we're very low on health. Uh, where are my hyper potions? There they are. Don't have many hyper potions, but it's fine. Gen 5 has some of the best gym puzzles. It's a great gym puzzle, except for the fact that it doesn't have an easy way to leave the gym if I need to go heal. That's the one thing I don't like about this puzzle. We have 10 years experience battling. I'll give you a taste of a veteran skill. Well, I have, uh, I'm 25 now. I probably started playing Pokemon when I was six. I have almost 20 years experience. Maybe older than six, probably older than six. I don't know. I actually have no idea how old I was when I started playing Pokemon. Maybe eight. All 15 years experience playing Pokemon. You think your 10 years has anything on me? Uh, what I did when I played Black and Cutadino when I started White Two Edge Trant. Oh, that's smart. That's that. That's actually smart. 
Minosh up to level 47. Minosh wants to win Miracoat. No, because uh, I'm done with you. You evolve after this battle, and then I'm, I'm done with you. I'm just super done with you. Uh, other than the gym leader fight. It's the only reason you're here. We're actually, we're gonna false swipe this fracture. We're just gonna false swipe it. We're just gonna do damage. Not super effective, but we're just gonna do damage. Actually, wow, that's, it's not very effective. I thought it would just be neutral damage. But dragons are, resist water. Interesting, good to know. If you can get a crit, this is fine. It's gonna do big damage to us, though. I was expecting more with the, with the, the, the D-Dance off. I was expecting a lot more damage with the D-Dance. Alright, is that your full team? Scrafty up to level 40. I guess the time spent is not everything. Well, no, it's just I spent more time. What? Vanillish is evolving our 548th Pokemon to be added to the Living Dex. We're just hitting all the evolutions today. All the evolutions today. We're getting ourselves the Vanillux right here. Perfect timing. Vanillux, welcome on in to the Living Dex. Boom. We also do need to go back and catch ourselves a ducklet. We do need to go catch ourselves a ducklet today. Um, so that way we can, I can work on uh, grinding it up. Because it's probably going to be a low level. So we, we do got to work on that. Uh, what is this way? That's another gym trainer. That's going to move the head. I feel like we should go this way first. Did not, I did not want to save. The starters and legends are apparently going to get alternate forms. That's what I've heard. I, I hope so. I think it'd be really cool to see it. I think it'd be really cool if they got alt forms. Every person loves Pokemon in a different way. You can try my Pokemon. That's the way. Oh, wait. I have already fought you? I've already fought you. Oh, that's what that pad is at the start. It's a warp pad. I see it behind her now. That's a it's a warp pad. I really want to take it so that way I don't have to keep leveling Scrafty. But the thing is, um, I don't want to make my way all the way back through this gym again. Sorry. We're just gonna keep two people on us. No one that needs a, a XP right now, but it's fine. Hi, I'm Iris, the amazingly strong gym leader. Tell me, what poke? Pokemon are you using? I apologize for the hiccup. Uh, how will you fight? Oh, I'm super curious. Let's just get started. Let's get it started in huh? Let's get it started in here. Iris. Uh, Iris was a fun, uh, was a fun travel partner with Ash. Ash, she was great, um, to be just running around. Um, we're just gonna go for Ice Beam on all of them. It's gonna be super effective, two times damage. Um, maybe we'll just one-shot all three of them, but we can just move on with our day. That's what I'm hoping for. I'm hoping for uh, just one-shotting them all, moving on with our day. But we'll see what happens. Here we go, here we go. <laughs> oh, also the other thing that uh, YouTube streaming doesn't have that Twitch does. Because, like, that's the perfect time where I'd be like, oh, if this doesn't one-shot all three of them, I'll gift a sub. You can't gift membership on Twitch, which is kind of interesting. So I can't make those kinds of, like, off-handed bets anymore. At least when I'm streaming on YouTube. You can still do them on Twitch. All three one-shots. I mean, I'm over-leveled. But still, that's just amazing. I did my best, but we lost. That's just incredible. Whoa, that was so cool. I'm so happy I could battle a trainer as strong as you. The eighth gym badge. Uh, I'm pretty, I'm decently, not the, like, the main anime that was coming out. Um, I felt like, like I never watched Sun and Moon. Uh, I never watched, what, I never watched their X and Y series. 
Uh, but I am almost caught up on Journeys. Uh, Master's Journeys is actually the current run. I think I'm, I'm like 10 episodes behind. Just because I haven't watched it. I mean, it because it's all out on Netflix. I just need to sit down and watch it. Hey, that's your 8th badge, right? Oh, that's so cool. Now, every Pokemon will do what you ask, no matter how big they are. You know what? I'll give you this TM2. Dragon Tail, Dragon Tail. It's TM82, Dragon Tail. Dragon Tail doesn't do just do damage. It sends the other Pokemon back to its Pokeball. Oh, hey. I wonder how Mr. Elder's doing. I wonder if he's battling that trainer called in in the Pokemon League right now. Do you know about the Pokemon League? It's past Victory Road at the end of Route 10. So that is technically where we're supposed to be. Yes, journey. I, I've really enjoyed Journeys. Um, like I said, I'm almost caught up to it. Oh, hey. It's the Professor. Hello, uh, how is Iris doing? Oh, I came to report to the on how to resurrect the legendary Zekrom. I thought it would be better to tell you in person over, than over the tr X transceiver. And as for the conclusion, well, I haven't figured it out yet. So you have nothing to tell me. I'm sure the Pokemon will wake up when it uh, deems someone worthy. More importantly, aren't you amazing? You have all eight of Unova's gym badges now, right? You've become so strong. You probably don't even know it, but you've changed a lot since you left Noomba Town. Well then, I'll show you where such a strong trainer should head next. Is it to Route 10? To the Pokemon League? And she goes to this shop right here, where you can shop with my code, Professor Juniper, to get 20% off all orders in the Pokemon. Pass through the gate, go down Route 10, and you'll arrive at the badge gate check. Gate check gates. Once you're through Victory Road, which is past the gate, you're finally at the Pokemon League. Oh, that. Uh, oh, that just made me think of when I was showing around the Pokemon Center in Acuma Town. Wiz, do you regret setting out on this Pokemon journey? Yes. Oh, well, that's okay. Don't worry. You don't have to tell me everything. But I'm very happy that you three chose to trade Pokemon, because they create chances to meet more wonderful people in Pokemon. Hey, Wiz, this is a present for you. Oh. oh, a Master Ball! Okay. This Master Ball is the most powerful kind of Pokeball. It can catch any Pokemon without fail. Uh, that is the only way I can support you, except to say, be true to yourself. No matter what happens, stay strong and keep going with your Pokemon. See ya. If you just have those to give out, could you give me, like, ten more? Just hand me, a, hand me a few more. So, Zekrom we're already carrying around in our pocket. In the form of a stone. Whenever it does decide to come out of its stone form, do we then have to, like, battle it and catch it? I assume so. I, f I feel like it'd be too easy if it just was on our team. Like, that would be too easy, right? Alright, um, oh, we need to get the EXP share off them. Helm items, take the EXP share... And we'll go ahead and move you into position here. Over in box four. So many Pokemon to move over. Um, Pinard, you are actually good to go in the back too, because we're going to catch another one of you off stream and prepare you. I need to make a note of them that I need to catch Pinard. All right, we have made a note of them, so that way I know to come catch another one before next Living Deck stream. Um, and all of these, like I said, are just one level away, so we'll just grab whoever. Um, the Nilex is also done. We don't need them any longer. Um, so we will grab Musharna, because we are going to try and head to go get Cambellion right now. Uh, we're going to try. Um, it may go horribly wrong. Uh, but we do have some other captures we can do in that gym, that uh, cave as well. Um, Golurk is just kind of hanging out with us. Or Golet's just kind of hanging out with us. Not Golurk as of yet. And then we have two more evolutions to go. Uh, oh, I had these two sitting over here because this was that we caught an extra earlier. We can actually release you now because we do not need you. Um, and then I have a second Elgym here because we caught a second one, but I believe we can catch another one of the... I, I believe we can just catch the Evolved Form. Yeah, we can just catch the Evolved Form on Route 14. Uh, it's a 10% chance, but we don't need you either because we'll just hunt for them on that route. So we don't need you either. And then that is all of our spare Pokemon that we have. Doperino. Look at us actually clearing up our boxes. Making stuff happening. Um, so let's give you... Let's give you an EXP share. I don't love the, the bag layout in this game, though. The bag layout in this game uh, leaves a lot to be desired. Primarily because, like, balls are in the same... Uh, slot as, like, items, and I don't love that. My fault, I feel like that, that was only 15 minutes apart. That was not half an hour, which it was supposed to be. 
Uh, did you make that chart of where to find all the Pokemon yourself? I did, and I didn't. Um, so, all of the... Adding all the Pokemon in here, I did that myself. Adding where I can find them, I did that myself. The little check marks here next to them uh, are uh, Moderator Golden Bucket. Made all the check marks for me and like the acquired bit at the top, Pokemon, Pokemon caught, all this over here. So, my original version that I made... Um, is where is where is my original version what page was that on it wasn't on overall i don't know where my original version is anymore oh, i think i just closed it out because like, i don't need this anymore was it in mascot this was what my original version looked like except it was color coded uh i got rid of the color coding because this is just my mascot pokemon to let me know who has what mascot pokemon but this is what my original version looked like and then i just put next to it where they were and then Golden was like, please let me make this look better. So then he split it up in different generations. I just need to beg him to do Generation 8 for me to make it look nice like uh, Gen 7 and Beyond does. But otherwise, yes, because I thought it was fun to have a spreadsheet to make things easier. All right, so before we go into the cave, we also need to teach one of our Pokemon Strength. As Strength is necessary for us to make it to Cambellion. Um, so, who has strength? <sighs> Surely one of you can learn strength. Oh, shoot, you're gonna be trying- you're gonna be traveling with us, Cub Chow. Cub Chu. Uh, so you can make yourself useful, and, uh, you can strength for us, cause... You need a single level, but you're gonna be traveling with us on this journey. Can you learn... Do I even have Flash? Cause I know this- the... That place is dark. We don't have Flash. Where do you get Flash at in this game? Uh, Pokemon White Flash TM. Where do you get Flash? The basement of Ouroboro Gate? No, that's Diamond and Pearl. It's like, Ouroboro Gate is Diamond and Pearl. What do you want about? Um, Cassila City? Look for a suspicious man in a trench coat. Uh, why does it say out of 900? There are 898 Pokemon there. So I updated it when they announced, uh, Cassula City, which is here. When they announced, uh, Basculin and Sawsbuck's evolution. So that is 899 and 900. That's at least what the original edition was. Um, and then I haven't updated even though they've announced other Pokemon. Um, because that's what those two are. Uh, so they're technically right there, but we don't know if they're Generation 8 or if they're Generation 9, so I just haven't updated them there to that yet. Uh, but that's why it says out of 900, and I just never updated it further. And that game comes out in a few days, so hopefully it will not matter at that point. Uh, but then we'll increase that number, because with the other Pokemon added, uh, I think we'll end up going. So we're looking for someone in a suspicious trench coat, evidently, who will give us... Who will give us flash which i don't like that are there other alleys here because it said just go down one of the alleys which these don't feel like these are roads not oh wait where did i put those sunglasses are you a trainer oh, i found them you've really got to uh light your way by take this oh no this is where we get flash yeah i don't like that i don't like that interaction that interaction makes me uncomfortable. That interaction made me very uncomfortable. Hey, but thanks for Flash, though. Um, Cub, Cub Chew, can you also learn this, please? No, you cannot. But Musharna can! And they are only with us to put things asleep. So you can learn Flash, your buddy. Thank you for that. Um, where is the Pokemon White Move Relearner? Where's the Relearner at? Um, Maelstrion City? I don't know what city this is. <laughs> Mr. Lilchon City, that's... This city? Oh, that's Drift L. That's the city. Um, and this house is to the right of the Pokemon Center. To the right of the Pokemon Center... Um, is the move relearner. We have heart skills on us. Um, so we can relearn uh, Hypnosis on Musharna. 
Uh, who's I again? Oh, that's right. I moved a leader. No. Um, Philly Cheeks, through heart skills, cheer a Pokemon to a lady in Drift All City, making it heart skills too. Family is very fussed about Pokemon moves. Everybody calls me the Reminder Girl. I know Pokemon when they level up. Cool. If you bring a heart skill, yes. Which Pokemon should learn it? Musharna. Um, I would like for them to relearn Hypnosis. Yes, take room for Hypnosis. Get rid of Yawn. Actually, you know what? We can keep Yawn. And we'll just get rid of Lucky Chant. They both do the same thing, but again, Mujarna is only here to make things go to sleep. All right, now we need to go to the cave. Um, where is this cave at? It's it's this city's cave, but it's off Route Six. So I guess we'll just backtrack onto Route Six. Which no, is this connected? This is connected to Charstone Cave. Um, so we will fly to the other end of it because that's Charstone Cave there. So we'll fly to Drift Hill City and exit out of Drift Hill City. Otherwise, I am not super familiar with this cave. With this cave, and okay, I was about to say with Bulbapedia not working, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna super know. Uh, but Bulbapedia, oh no, Bulbapedia is still not working for me at least. It keeps giving me bad gateway. Uh, you know what? I, I do want to try and see we, if we we can buy some more Ultra Balls before we go. If I could buy some super repels too, that would be great. How much money do I have from that doing that gym? I actually have a decent amount of money. I can buy 24. Let's buy 15. It's not enough, but we can save and reload if we need to. Um, let's just buy 15. And spend the rest. Dobby! Spend the rest on super on uh, ultra balls. Buy another two. I just don't have enough money in this game. I just truly don't have enough money in this game. We're also going to save because we haven't saved today yet. We're an hour in. Dobby, how are you doing today? Hope you're having a wonderful day. Hope all is well with you. Alright, time to find this place. So we know it's off Route 6, um, and we know we need strength for it, but I don't know where specifically it is, and I don't want to start using our repels now, even though it would be better. I wish if you just had a high enough level Pokemon in your front, like, if we had something, like, it would just make it unlikely for stuff to attack. Is, are there any held items to decrease uh, encounters? Surely there is, right? I don't know that I have it. But there's surely a, a held item out there somewhere that makes Pokemon less likely to encounter you. I somehow skipped this trainer. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Actually, not surprised that, I've, that I have trainers that I skipped. Buddy, I just need you to understand that I have all eight gym badges. Why does it say I haven't caught you? I guess because it's a trainer battle, it doesn't show that I've caught this Pokemon before. Because we definitely have. Uh, now, uh, please don't have uh, Sparky Body or whatever it's called. You know, Sparky Body. Everyone's favorite move, Sparky Body. Oh well, it'll give us some experience to uh, come to. Because we do want them evolved by the time we're done with this cave. Um, oh man, I need a Bulbapedia to load. Okay, so I can see everything that... Okay, I got it to load just enough to show what spawns in here. Um, so, Axew spawns at a 20% chance. Uh, with Boldor, we don't need Boldor. We've already finished that line. And we don't need Woobat. Um, so 20% chance, and we only need to catch... Do we only need to catch one? I think we only need to catch one Axew. Axew, where are you at? You're not down here, which is where I thought you'd be. Axew, we only need to catch one because Fracture spawns at Victory Road. So we only need to catch one while we're in here. Doing good, just finished moving and unpacking to an apartment. Nice! That's exciting. 
You know, I, I hate moving. Moving is the worst. I don't know anyone who enjoys moving. But decorating like a new space is real nice. Decorating a new space to live in once you've gotten there is a lot of fun. I wonder if it's like over here. Because actually, I don't know where this cave is. I oh, know this is just a random line. Oh, that's probably the cave right there. That is probably the cave right there. That feels right. Like, I am really excited to get into a new space after this apartment that we're currently in. Uh, to set up... Uh, I get, I've skipped this trader as well. To set up our... To, to do another setup for a stream room. Being able to rearrange your furniture... It's, it's fun. It is, yeah. Although, the next thing I want... I want a nice, big, comfy chair to sit in. Uh, not for streaming. I mean, I would love a more comfortable chair to sit in for streaming. Uh... But what I what I want is a big comfy chair to sit in for reading. Uh, it's I, I want just one of those giant armchairs, just with a little lamp next to it, just so I can sit down and read some comics and different stuff like that. It's the dream. Right now I just I just read them in this chair and this chair's not comfortable. I'm not comfortable by a long shot. Um, if this turns, okay, we have to jump up and around. Basculin. I still despise that Basculin has such a high catch rate. I think that is so stupid. So stupid that this thing has such a high catch rate. Alright, let's go ahead and use one of our repels. Um, there we go. That way we can just make it over to this cave. Because I, I, I'm willing to put money that that is the cave we're going to. Because uh, it's the only other cave up here. I'd feel really weird if this wasn't the cave. Always my reactions to... Oh no, I'm about to sneeze! Yes, uh, this is the cave. Alright, so... Flash... All right, show me what there is to see. Not a lot. Not showing me a lot. That's fair. Um. Well, that seems. How would I? Oh wait, wait. Can I get you right here? I can. I can. Okay. I was about to say, how do I even get this over there? It didn't look like it lined up there. Push you around that way. Tasha in the hole. We have a few trainers in here as well. Uh, who's leading right now? Samurai, perfect. Bum, bum. Only a Pokeball, it seems. My favorite things are mountains, meals, Pokemon, and fun battles. What a what a nice life they live. Also, Nether Knight, how are you doing today? Hope you're having a wonderful day. Hope all is well with you. Drillber. Man, if all these trainers in here just have uh, ground Pokemon, that'd be great. That'd be kind of wonderful if they just all had that. Oh, shoot. You're D2. See, that's the other thing. Going from Twitch to YouTube streams, there's so many people who are like, I don't know what your different names are. Um, not off Twitch. So that's actually really funny. How are you doing, D2? Hope you're having a wonderful day. Hit him with that surf. Girder. Doesn't survive it. Oh, we're also 10 levels above all the Pokemon here. I don't know when you're technically, like, supposed to go back and do this area. Um, just push that one right in. But we know we want to get down to the third floor, because that's where Cambellion is. I'm chasing my dream, and I'm fighting for a victory. Are you about to break out in a song? It's hard to keep it consistent since Twitch is very strict with naming. It is. It very much is. I have considered putting, I, and I think I'm going to do it in the um, in the member thing for YouTube because if you become a member on YouTube, you can have your your name will be listed in at the end of every YouTube video starting the week after you become a member. Um, so I'm like, I think I need to put a thing on membership. Like when you become a member, you get access to a specific link. Uh, what what would you like your name to say? Like what would you what name would you like to have at the end of the YouTube video? 
Because there are some people who their YouTube is just is just their real name. And I'm like, some people might not want that listed online. Or like a way to opt out. Like, do not list my name at the end of the YouTube video. Okay, that's our exit. There's a Pokeball up there. What is the Pokeball here? Hyper Potion. Nice. So I, I, I do need to add that. Um, so all of the sh all of the shake spots in here are drill burr. We already have the drill burr line done, so we can just ignore them. Max Repel. Du -du -du -du. Repels, effects, we're off. That's fine. Because we're going to need to run, we're going to need to find Axew anyways. So that's fine if our, if we don't have a Repel for a little bit. Once we find Axew, we can turn our Repels back on. Because we'd be running around in a circle looking for it anyways, so we'll just keep it on while we run. It is going to get very frustrating that we're only going to be able to take a handful of steps before we get attacked by a Pokemon. That is going to get kind of irritating. But it's fine. It's, it's fine. So we came from that direction. I need just a layout of this map. Is there a layout here? There is a layout here. Oh, 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 okay, I see it. I see where we're supposed to go. So Boldor, Woobat, and Axew were the three spawns in this cave. Um, and so we, we have both of those lines done, so we just need to finish it. It's that part right there. So Axew is the only thing we need, but Axew is the lowest percentage at 20%, um, whereas the other two are 50 and 30%. Yeah, because it's a staircase. It did not look like a staircase, though. But I did the boulder line in uh, Oraz, so that's why that line was already done. Right up the staircase. I do not know what uh, floor two looks like because there was not a. Up oh, there's floor two. Okay. Um. So we go. Actually, we. I don't think we need to go up. I think we need to go down the staircases. Go across that. Yeah. All right. We need to go this way. Go down. Push that over. Go up there. Go down there. Push that over. Okay. Cool. I have the walkthrough. It would have been nicer if older Pokemon games had a mini-map. Oh my gosh, it'd be so cool if, if games like had a little mini-map. It'd make it'd make these it'd make some of these so much easier. Alright, um nothing there. Dude, this 20% axe is not is not being nice to me right now. As soon as it appears. <laughs> Just appear so I can put on a repel. Please, Axew, it's all I request. Which evidently, this doesn't list any spawns for floor three. So I don't know if, if just nothing spawns on the third floor, which wouldn't make any sense. But these spawns only show unless floor three has different spawns. No. Interesting. See if uh, Axew's here at the last second. Nope. Man, do I have any... I really hope I have an escape room. Surely I have an escape room. Surely I have an escape room. It would be weird of me to play a Pokemon game and not have picked up escape ropes early on in my in my way through the game. Yeah, so there's nothing spawn up here in the Guidance Chamber. Okay, we do have spawns up here. It seems to be the exact same spawns. I don't know why this only shows floor one and two, but it seems to be the exact same spawns. Although, is this a trainer? No, this is a story. I saw your skill. It's impressive for one so young. Maybe you're the one. Hmm, it may be possible. How about it? We listen to an old man's story. In the distance past, when Pokemon and people lived in different worlds, a war between people started and an intense fire in a forest where many Pokemon lived. The Pokemon were surrounded by smoke and flames. They were in big trouble. And then, the legends, Cabalion. Ter uh, Terrakion and Viseron. Viseron appeared. Terrakion used its amazing strength to destroy rocks blocking the escape route. Virizion used its quick movements to protect Pokemon from looming flames. And Cabellion led the frightened Pokemon out of the woods. 
The people who started the war were, were rooted by the power of the legend. Because of the three, the war was ended. When people fight, there's no peace for Pokémon either. The three legends learn that the deeds of humans could lead to the dire consequences for their world. They cut themselves off from people and disappeared. No one saw much of them after that, and the three faded into myth. I've been searching for them for decades, and I finally figured out that one of them was deep in this cave. But the legendary three do not trust people. If people approach, they bear their things and attack. I can't, can't be helped, because they only know the old world. They still don't know the world has become a place where people and Pokemon try to understand and help each other. You seem like you might be able to show the, the, them that the people and Pokemon can trust each other and live together. If they take another look at people, I think they will stop hiding from us. Maybe they will. Or maybe they'll keep hiding from us. Yeah, man. Aw, oh, man. I, I wonder if this thing's in this cave somewhere. It's literally right over there, dude. Yo, Axew! There we go! There's Axew. Alright, now we just have to hope that this thing doesn't have anything that can hurt itself. Like, don't have takedown, please. Please don't have takedown. <laughs> there are actually too many moves that a Pokemon can use that can injure itself. Oh, you got false swipe too? Shoot! We're just both gonna false swipe each other. I don't know what this, uh, what Axe's catch rate is. So he saw it has false swipe, false swipe, Slash and Scary Face. Um, I could switch over and put it to sleep. Let me just let me do a quick calculation real fast. You know, just a good old just a good old quick calculation. Um, level thirty. What if it's not asleep though? Uh, oh wait, no, not a Dust Ball, an Ultra Ball. Okay, let's just throw a Dust Ball at it then, because a Dust Ball is a hundred percent catch rate. Let's just throw a Dust Ball at it and catch it. Um, um, um. Catch calculators are so helpful. Our 549th Pokemon to be added to the living decks today. They mark their territory by leaving gashes and trees with their tusks. If a tusk breaks, a new one grows in quickly. That's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. And Axe is all done. We aren't going to catch another one because Fracture, we're going to get on Victory Road. So we don't have to worry about catching another one to evolve. Although we will need to catch two fractures. We will need to catch two of those. Um, Super Repel. Uh, do you think Pokemon will ever release another 2D game? I don't think they will. I don't think they will. I think they're I think they're past that at this point. I don't see them ever releasing another uh, 2D game like this. I think they're going to stay in the 3D world unless it's a remake. And even with a remake, I, I don't see them doing it. All right, we're going to save before we encounter this thing, um, since I have, I only have so many Ultra Balls to do. Uh, we got to be smart with it. Got to be smart with it. So we're going to save here just in case we need to reset. Cabra! Cabra to you too. Oh, shoot. Did it kill me? It just murdered me. I'm dead. It attacked me and it killed me. Of the three... Of, of Generation 5, I think this is the coolest looking one. I do think this is the coolest looking one. Although, when, where do... Uh, Keldeo's also from this game, is aren't they? Yeah, Keldeo is from this game. Because aren't they the Swords of Justice, right? Am I remembering that correctly? Um, Pokemon Swords of Justice. Um, Sword of Justice... Ooh. The Swords of Justice are a group of three legendary Pokemon that appear in Kiram versus the Sword of Justice. Ah, oh, stupid Bulbapedia is still down. Who are the four Swords of Justice? Oh, okay, it is the four of them. It's the three of them and Keldeo. Keldeo makes up the, the fourth Sword of Justice. All right, how much does False Swipe do to you? They outspeed with Retaliate. They don't do too much damage. Yeah, you can also catch them in Sword and Shield. That was a critical hit from False Swipe. How much does Water Pulse do? Oh, she actually, I don't want a Water Pulse because I don't want to confuse it and have it accidentally KO itself. But we did save beforehand, so if we need to reset, we can. Uh, that's actually decent damage. How much does Slash do? I mean, just about as much as False Life is going to do. We might have to heal. Because Slash has a high crit, cha crit uh, chance. 
Alright, we do need to heal. Dang, two flinches in a row. That's irritating. Because we aren't going to do a lot of damage to this thing. But I believe you actually can catch all four of these at Sword and Shield. But I know the way to get Keldeo... Uh, oh, shoot, use Sacred Sword. I know the way to get Keldeo is by like following all the footprints on the Isle of Armor. Uh, so it is a way to get Keldeo if we don't want to do the route of doing it in this game. But like I said, I'm going to try and get as many Pokemon from their Generations game that I can. Uh, but I'll save them for later if it's easier to get them in a later game. And just not worth the effort of getting them in, in uh, this specific game that they're in. I like Iron Head because it doesn't do a lot of damage to me. I don't like Iron Head, though, because it has the potential to flinch me. Although this music, though... This music's great. Helping Hand. Oh, just keep using Helping Hand. Spam Helping Hand. Yeah, keep using Helping Hand. Can I get a crit from False Swipe, please? I don't know how much damage it's going to do to Musharna when I switch it in. Um, I think we're at 1 HP, but I'm going to do one more just to verify. Keldeo can't be caught in Gen 5, can it not? Is it an event Pokemon? That might be it. Because I haven't looked at any of the legendaries yet uh, to see what their catches is and everything. Um, Keldeo... Bring up on Serapy. Oh yeah, it's an event Pokemon. That's what it is. It's an event Pokemon, so we'll have to wait to get it in uh, Sword and Shield. Oh, that's true. It is mythical, isn't it? All right. So while it is asleep here, let's go to our catch calculator here, and let's pull them up here. So they are level forty-two. So they are currently at exactly one percent HP, and they are asleep. So with an Ultra Ball. We have an 11.8, uh, 11.899% chance of catching it. If we switch though to a Dusk Ball, and we say that we are in a cave because we are, we have an 18% chance of catching it. 50% um, chance of catching it with the four ball. So I just say we throw our, uh, I just say we throw the four dust or the three Dusk Balls we have because it's our highest percent chance, and then go Ultra Balls. 18% chance to catch it. It's probably going to pop out a couple times. Yeah. Just stay asleep uh, for me, buddy. Make this make this easier on me and stay asleep the max amount of turns. That'd really make things a lot, nicer, a lot easier for me. Luckily, it doesn't look like they do too much damage to Musharna, especially them being over a little bit higher of a level. So we can just keep putting it to sleep. Man, 18% only getting one shake is kind of rude. Kind of rude. Uh, if last Dusk Ball, could I at least get three shakes? You can pop out on the third shake. That's fine. And then I'll start chunking Ultra Balls. But if you could give me at least three shakes, that'd be great. Thank you. Okay. that's That was a singular shake. That was a singular shake. That's not what I was looking for. Ah, avoided the hypnosis. So rude. Yeah, so we'll get Keldeo and Sword and I think I may even have that listed. Oh, I do. I do have it listed in Sword and Shield. I think it's, uh... Uh... Island of Armor. Right? Because that's the only place to get Keldeo. Because we go to the Gen 6 decks. Uh, transfer required. Then we go to the Gen 7 decks, which is Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon. Transfer required. Yeah, so the only place to actually get Keldeo is uh, from the uh, from the lake in Crown. No, it's Crown Tundra? Oh, I thought it was Isle of Armor. It's Crown Tundra, evidently. I thought it was Isle of Armor. Um, DLC. We'll just put DLC. Crown Tundra, yeah. Um, and then Reshram we'll get from either Ultra Sun or Sword and Shield. Same with Renatus. But I need to actually look up the other one's locations. All right, let's get to throw in some Ultra Balls. I know I have a Master Ball, but we're going to save that. 
Yeah, you have to catch all three Sword of Justices, which is fine. I don't know that you have to have them catched. I think you just have to have them registered in Pokédex, but it could be wrong. Um, or just in your party, because that's the place I can just trade the ones from my main game. Because we're going to be playing through Pokémon Shield. Um, or I can catch them again off-stream. It's not that big of a deal. But I think you just need to have them in your party, and I can just trade ones over. Man, wow. All right, buddy. This thing uh, does not want to be caught. Which is okay. That's fair. We have time. <clears throat> time to wake up. Yep. Alright, it's not doing too much damage. I do like that it keeps going for helping hand, though. That does make it a little bit easier on me. Not much easier, but a little bit easier. I wish instead of buying all these Ultra Balls, I would have bought more Dusk Balls. I mean, it, it's a 7% chance increase, but still, 7% is a lot. But... Ah, oh, come on! Ah. Oh. We were so close. So close. Hey, but we got the three shakes. That's that's all I was asking for. Dude, you're just sitting here you're playing with my you're playing with my 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 emotions. You have to catch swords of justice, sword and shield to catch trading the nose. Oh well, I'll just catch them. Uh, we'll just catch them again off-stream, which will be pretty easy. Dude. We're get th That's three Ultra Balls in a roll, in a row, to shake three times. That's incredible. Fourth time's the charm, that's what they say, right? That's what they say, fourth time's the charm? No, they don't say that. They actually don't say that. Go for helping hand. Okay, okay. So don't don't crit. All right, I think I'm gonna have to use the. I think I'm gonna have to uh, hyper potion here. Because if not, I think they might kill me. Which then I have to spend another turn to revive and then heal, and then switch in. So we'll just hyper potion. I do love Musharna being. Musharna is like taking these hits, which is really nice. Like good on Musharna for taking these hits. Bum, bum, bum. I, I think my most irritating legendary that we've tried to catch in over the course of the living decks was definitely Kyogre in Alpha Sapphire. That Kyogre took us a very long time to catch. I want to say it, it took two streams to catch it. Like I ended a stream having not caught it. Came back to the next stream and then still still spent another 30 minutes trying to catch it before we finally got it. Something like that. It was... We had very poor luck with it. Uh... Because why didn't I... Why didn't I use the Master Ball on it? I think we might have already used it. We used the Master Ball on something else. Or maybe we did all that and then finally just threw the Master Ball at it. I can't remember. That was so long ago. Who can remember things from that long ago? Bum... Dude, what are you doing to me? Why are you playing with my heart like this? Out here playing with me. Immediately pops out. What sucks though is I'm not immediately going to be able to go after any other legendaries. Uh, cause I, I'm not gonna have enough Ultra Balls to do it. I don't, I don't have enough money to buy more until, uh, until after we beat the Elite Four. And then at that point I can just regrind the Elite Four over and over again, um, off stream to get Ultra Balls. Cause even after we beat the Elite Four, uh, we're going to have, uh, more stuff to do before we finish this, uh, playthrough. Cause I, we don't even have a Zekrom yet. So, I don't know how, how much of a post-game this game has, but, I mean, we haven't even gone around the full map yet. Like, there's still multiple other cities to go to, which is weird that there are still other places to go. I can't imagine playing the Pokedex in the games before the internet. It must have been... I mean, the internet was 
was there, but they must have been. I mean, except for like red and blue. Yo! Oh my, finally! Oh my gosh. 550 Pokemon in our living decks. It has the body and heart of steel. Its glare is sufficient to make even an unruly Pokemon obey it. The steel fighting Iron Will Pokemon Kumalion. Welcome to the living decks. You took too much. You took too much from me to make that happen. My gosh. That was amazing. Ten more until two-thirds. Oh, shoot. Dude wants to come talk to us. It seems that thanks to you, Cabellion has sensed a change in the world. It's a world where people and Pokemon help each other and live together. I believe Cabellion wants to remain with you and travel by your side. The fact that you battled them and you related to each other should be easily communicated to Tarion and Viserion because of the close bond between the three. I'm sure they will also give you a chance to prove your worth. I actually don't know where the two of those spawn at, so we'll look it up. The obstacles that separated Tacheron and Viserion from people are probably gone now. Whether you want to search for those two is up to you, but they, have de they are definitely waiting for you. So they are evidently hidden to us beforehand, but now I guess we can find them. Um, Verizion, Cerebee, Gen 5. Uh, let's pull them up. Uh, so they're- oh, they're in Pitwell Forest. Oh, interesting. Uh, Rumination Field. I actually don't know where to get to them in there. Uh, Pinwell Forest. Is that ju you just... Something was blocking and now you can just go access them now? Is that what it is? Inside... Well, this is black and white too. Black and white too. Alright. Uh, yeah. Just Rizzi on a grass fighting. Are they all fighting types? I guess they are. What is... Let's check out Verizion's catch rate. Do they have the exact same catch rate? They do have the exact same catch rate. The exact same catch rate. Now watch me not have an escape rope. Why do I not have an escape rope? I always buy escape ropes. Wait! No, I don't. I was like, I have dig. I don't have dig. I don't think we have any way to get out of here other than just walking out. That's... <laughs> that's irritating. Uh, I'm normally so much better about buying... Uh, oh, I do have a uh, repel already on. I'm normally so much better about buying escape ropes. That's fine. This this cave is pretty small. We did get a rare candy in here as well, which is something to keep in mind. Alright, come reflash. Nope. You have flash. We'll see how much how many ultra balls we have. But, and maybe we'll go attempt to get Verizion. Because otherwise, it's time for Victory Road. And I don't think I want to do that today either. Because that's like a whole... Whole deal. Oh, the rocks stay in place. That's nice. Hey, there we go. We only need one Super Repel to get out. Alright, let's uh, fly to... Yeah, because we still have this town here. Undela Town and White Forest. Like, there's still so much. Yeah, the Galar region, uh, Sword and Shield, actually, you can get a good majority of every po Like, how many Pokemon? How many Pokemon are there in Sword and Shield with DLC? With the DLC, um, because they add added 200 more Pokemon with the DLC. Um,. There are just a few that you can't get in Sword and Shield. So between Sword and Shield, you can do pretty much the entire Pokédex, which is wild. Um, we still have the Abundant Shrine. What, there's something off Route 10, which is up here. There's something off Route 10 that we need as well, but I can't remember what it is. 
But yeah, Victory Road will get us uh, Dino added in, and we'll get uh, as well as in Black 2. Uh, Victory Road also gets us uh, Fracture. So we'll, we'll get two from Victory Road. You know what? Let's go back and grab uh, Ducklet. Let's go back and grab Ducklet from the Driftwell Drawbridge. From the Shake Spot at Driftwell. Because we need to grab that. I don't know what classifies as the drawbridge, though. No, that, that's to get to the lighthouse. That's not where we need to go. Because the drawbridge is over here. Right? Is there any way to access the water here? I don't know that there is. Because this is the drawbridge. But it's a shake spot. Not on the drawbridge, right? That'd be kind of weird. Surely there's a way to access the water there, right? Uh, bridge to connect the world. Hmm. Ducklet, Cerebi, Gen 5. Yeah, Driftwell Drawbridge. Walk, Shaking Spot. On the Drawbridge. How many Pokemon do you have left in white? Um, and in Generation Five, we still have we're at eight we're at eighty six out of one fifty six. Um, the how many more Pokemon we have to get white? I don't know that number off the top of my head. I guess it's just walking across the bridge. We've always just run across the bridge, so we've like never had a chance for that to happen. So I guess let's find a place where we can see everything, like right here, and just go back and forth. Do we have to, I mean, being on a bicycle is fine, right? Well, let's get off the bicycle just in case. We'll just run back and forth and see what happens. Or we're just going to look stupid just running back and forth on a bridge. <laughs> Waiting for a shake spot that might not happen to happen. Like it's, there's like a door slam in there. Um. Oh wait, 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 wait. It's like a little shadow right there. Oh, that's a okay. I was like, maybe, maybe that's it. Maybe that's what we're looking for. It wasn't. <laughs> it wasn't what we were looking for. I don't, I don't see anything on here that resembles a shake spot. I don't know. Um, I feel like, I feel like we're doing this wrong, maybe? Is there a, is there like a video I can watch of this? Um, Pokemon White, how to get, uh, Ducklet. Alright, it's a five minute, no, wait, this video looks better. This video looks like it's not someone just pointed at a, uh, pointed at their, uh, DS. They run into some ducklets on their way. You run into some ducklets on their way. Maybe there's grass on the side of the bridge. Maybe. It's like a four minute video. This is white too, but the, the same thing should stand. Oh, what? Oh, okay. So it is the little shadow thing. Because that's a... So it is the little shadow thing. Um... 
Oh, those are going to be tough to see. What if they're down here? Maybe we run on the lowest thing so that way we will always run into one. If it appears on the bottom right here. Is that one? Nope. Those are not easy to see at all. Oh, oh, there's one right there. Stupid swift wing. Are they always going to be at the top there? Because they're always going to be at the top. That's two in a row that I've been on the top layer. Because if we just always run right here, we'll run into it then. Oh, 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 oh. Right there, right there, right there. I don't want wings. I want the duck. Just anyone popping in just like, you want the duck? What? Oh. What is the chances of this many wings appearing instead of the actual duck? Like seriously, what are the chances of that? I feel like there's gonna be one like hidden in here. Oh, okay, I guess there was one hidden in here. Like I feel like there's gonna be one that we're gonna pass in here and we're not gonna be able to see it. <clears throat> I don't like this. <laughs> I don't like this at all. Okay, one there. Oh, there we go, finally. I was beginning to think maybe th this isn't how you do it. Level 22, okay, level 22. Um, things to keep in mind for that. Um, 35 is their evolution, so I just need to catch two here. Uh, shouldn't be that big of a deal. Duck, do you have an easy catch rate? All right, level 22. What if I throw a heal ball at you? Because I have a, a lot of random heal balls if you're asleep. We have a 100% chance of catch with a heal ball if they're asleep and at 1 HP. Could be worth it just so that way we can save our Ultra Balls. Could be worth it. Right. False Swipe was almost enough to put it down to 1 HP off one hit. I don't, I was also expecting grass off the side of the bridge somewhere, but I was just like, how do I get to it? And we also did heal after all that, so we're trying to not do well, but we're 23 levels above. So this thing shouldn't really be able to hurt us. Um, yeah, six points of damage. Go to Feather Dance. Oh, what's that going to do? Actually, I actually have no idea what that's going to do. It lowered something. Attack, that's fine. As long as you don't lower accuracy. Maybe worth it just to yawn it. If it knows this misses again, we're going to yawn. Yeah, we're just going to yawn. Because that, that's this is why I didn't get rid of yawn. For situations like this where I know it's a 100% catch, we just need to have it asleep. This way we know no matter what, next turn it falls asleep. No matter what, this thing falls asleep next turn. Either my hypnosis hits and we're good, or my hypnosis misses and they yawn. Best way to do this. Alright, then we're going to throw a heal ball at it, because we don't want to waste our few ultra balls that we have. Get in there, buddy. And this will be our 551st Pokemon to be added to the living decks honestly a super cute pokemon the water bird pokemon when attacked it uses its feathers to splash water escaping under cover of the spray of water flying always have to have a fun water flying pop you off there and now i need to catch one more that i can uh level up off i mean even on stream because it's not that far but either way, it will level up to evolve the other one. So we just need to find another one. Hopefully we can get a little bit luckier and not run into a ton of, uh, ton of wings again. And I think we may attempt Verizion depending on how much money we have. Oh. Can, we, can I sell these wings for anything? As many of these wings that I picked up to, are they worth it? They're probably worth like $50. Like, selling all of them isn't even going to get me a singular Ultra Ball. Through. I was like, they're spawning a little bit slower now. The genius wing. 
You know what would be real genius? Uh, another duckling appearing. There we go. Real genius, like I said. It's still a 70% chance, even if it isn't asleep. I'd still rather it be asleep, though. Ooh, this Douglet took that hit better. Is this one a higher level? No, this one's the same exact level. We just, uh... We just did less damage. Out here doing less damage. So now the question is, can we switch into Masharna, who's only at 28 HP? Can they take two hits? Because this thing outspeeds me for, you know, somehow... Uh, it goes for aerial ace. Does it just kill me? No. Alright, we go for the yawn. As, oh, perfect. We'll get our yawn off. I'm like, as long as we get our yawn off, we're good. Because 100% catch with uh, the heal ball. So that's all we need. So we now will have an extra NPC. So we can be done with that. It's growing drowsy. It's growing quite, quite, quite drowsy. Oh, wait, maybe it can't. I guess the AI is making it feather dance. Because it doesn't have anything that can do a lot of damage to me. We land the first hypnosis. That's fine. I went, Yawn was the safer play for me, though, because I'm so low on health. It could have just chipped away at stuff. All right, use the heal ball. All right, so that'll have that captured. Um, I kind of think we want to try for it. What does... I don't know what Route 10 has to offer. This is on the wrong page here. That was easy. Thanks, J. Uh, thanks, JJ. What would we do without you? Come on, Bulbapedia. Just show me what's on Route 10. Fine. Uh, Pokemon White Route 10. We'll pull it up on Cerebi. I like the way that Bulbapedia shows me route like routes better. Because, like, this is just so... I mean, it's not terrible, but I just like because it shows me everything on it a lot easier. Uh, oh, Route 10 actually has two things we need to catch. Actually, three things. Uh, Bowflint, uh, Rufflet, and Throw. There are actually multiple things we need to catch on that route. We honestly got... Simi I, I threw out a random number at the start of the stream being like, I want to see 560. It was just a random number. We actually... Did pretty well. What were we at at the, at the top of the stream? 542? We almost added 10 Pokemon in the stream, or did we? Because we, we caught 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51. We caught 9 Pokemon. So yeah, almost 10. I can do easy math. And if we evolve, uh, like we have Cub Chew just still sitting on our, in our uh, party because we haven't really fought anyone since we added them to our party. Um, how far are you from a level up? You're 400 XP from a level up. We'll have you evolve no matter what. All right. We end up by getting 6,000. Buy five more Ultra Balls. Can't do, are these wings worth anything? I'm gonna assume they aren't. Oh, shoot! They are worth money. So you're telling me I just need to go run around on that bridge? You're telling me I just need to go run around on that bridge and I can make bank? So that's all, all I gotta do. I just gotta go run around on that bridge. And I can make a ton of money. Um, I wanna go buy Dusk Balls. I wanna go buy nine, nine Dusk Balls. Where, where, where do we... We got them at the, uh, the one mart. Shoot. Those things are worth a lot. Okay, so I know what I'm doing in between streams is I'm just gonna run around on that bridge, uh, for like half an hour. And hope I get unlucky with ducklets. I want the opposite of luck that we had there. I, I want... All the all the wings, <laughs> so we can just sell those. For, I feel like that those are those sell for way too much. Also, evidently there are trainers in here who will fight me. 
Um, Dusk Ball by nine. Thank you. Have you heard there's a cave along Route 9? I don't know exactly under what's in it. Well, that's useless information. I am shocked because I want TMs. I'm a rich boy. I have a great Pokemon. I'm a rich boy, and I'm trying too hard to be good at Pokemon. Man alive, heard your buddy. You're a rich boy. Get a better Pokemon. Get something better than a, than a leopard. Like, go buy your... Like, at least get something other than a normal type. Can you give me a ton of money for this? Cub Chew gets an evolution. That's really all I did this for. $5,000! That's five more Dusk Balls! And the evolution, which was primarily what I was fighting you for. Our 552nd Pokemon to be added to our living decks is the is bear tick good old bear tick i wish i liked uh cub chew more uh bear tick's okay bear tick's okay wants to learn icicle crash sure even though i have no intentions of using you you can learn your fancy move that you get when you evolve hey there we go all right bear tick is where you at where you at bear tick i just saw your name right there so we are all done with that line. And that's another line down. That's pretty exciting. I don't think we're going to hit 560 today, but I think we're, we're getting very close to 560, which is kind of exciting. Um, oh, man, we're so close to being able to get six more. We'll take five more. Uh, listen, I, I'm not going to be greedy. I mean, I am going to be greedy. Are you going to fight me? Good trainers never use brute force thing with their Actually, I don't want to fight any of you. Because I would be getting... There's no XP for anyone. Wing, I can come back here and fight random trainers when I have a different Pokemon in my back end who actually needs the experience. I mean, Litwick also needs the experience. Litwick also needs experience because Litwick is a level away from evolving as well. Um, we need to see how close Litwick is to evolution. To level 41. All right, so we'll drop off uh, Bear Tick in the PC. And we will start doing some other stuff here. Dope didn't want to do that. Move Pokemon. Bear Tick, come here. I've taken the EXP share away from you. So you're good to go hop in here into the, in into the back of Box 4. Uh, Cabellion, you are also good to go pop into the back of box four. Uh, I don't think it's, I don't think we're going to use any of the, the only legendary Pokemon I see ourselves using, uh, in the Elite Four would be, uh, Zekrom. Uh, if we have them before then, but I don't even know if we get them before then. Level 22, level 22, you're both level 22, dope. Um, Golette is also very close to evolution as well, they're like two levels off. All right, so that's everyone in there. We do need to add another Pokemon to our party, but I also want to do a quick summary. How close are you? You're 500 XP away from leveling up. Uh, so we're actually going to move you up front so that way you can just fight someone and level up. You're two levels away from an evolution. Um, where are the two of you sitting at? 1,000, 4,000 away from evolution. We'll grab you just so it's more likely to get an evolution in this episode because I don't think I'm going to need anyone else in my party right now. Because in, like, in Pokemon Platinum, I went through the process of uh, saving all these Pokemon until after I'd beaten the Elite Four and just refighting the Elite Four over and over again, which is definitely a strategy. Uh, but it's not one I want to implore this time around. I just want to get as many done as we can before we even make it to the Elite Four, because we are going to basically just play through this game again in Black 2. Uh, I mean, it's, it's going to be slightly different. So I don't know where in this forest we're going uh, for Verizion, but I'm just gonna I'm just making it up as we go. Evidently, the the way is no longer blocked. 
So if anything looks different than what I remember it looking like. Here, maybe? No. Up here, maybe? That's not what I meant to do. Ha. Huh. It's got to be that other pathway, then. Or actually, it could be down south, because I've actually never gone down south here. No, there's nothing over here. Do I have to have Cambellion with me, maybe? No, they just said the, the other pathways have opened. Oh, wait, this way? No, nothing over there. It may be down there. Like across the water or something. Like I could see there being something over here. Because I don't think we ever really explored this over here either. Huh. I don't know why I surfed across that. Yeah, maybe Cambellion has to be with me. Have to be with you to find Parisian. Or maybe we have to do it in a certain order. Alright, let's pull up a how to catch each of these. No, not in Sword and Shield. Not in Sword and Shield. Find my black and white guy. That's what we want. Alright, how to find Vizrian. If you go north from the Nacron City, exit Pinwall Forest or south of the blah, blah, blah. On the east side is a small hole in the fence. Oh, wait, what? There's a small hole in the fence over here? Evidently. Oh. Oh. Okay. I was, I was, I was gonna spend, I spent so much time just looking in one area. I didn't even think to look over here. I didn't even, I was, didn't even think to, hey, maybe there, a hole is opened up in the bridge, next to the bridge. Alright, is it up here? Yeah, this looks like it. This looks like a place you put a legendary Pokemon. Alright, we will save again. Same strategy as last time. Uh, false swipe and then hypnosis. Same exact strategy. Hopefully it pays off better this time around. Listen, Cameleon trusts me. That means you all should just let me catch you first try, right? That's how this works. Apra! Apra! All right. Samurai, come on out. Let's see how much false swipe does. Um, oh, okay, it's probably going to do similar damage. Also, since it is a grass type, right? Because it's, it's uh, grass fighting, right? So it resists water. So let's go for Surf. See how much damage Surf does to it. Because it's going to resist it. Bum, bum, bum. Mm. I think that's still more damage than Slash is going to do. I think it's still more damage than Slash. Oh no, Slash did so much more damage to you. Interesting. We'll go for False Swipe. Full. We'll go False Swipe here and just hope we can... Uh... Oh shoot, what a nice crit, Grizion. What a beautiful critical hit. Uh, I'm gonna need you not to do that, though. I'm, I'm gonna need you not to kill me, though, before I'm able to knock you down. So, Verizion, this one was the... This Pokemon took me the longest to get in Pokemon Go. Because uh, I missed it when it first popped up the first time. I actually only have Verizion because one of my managers at work... Uh, wait, do you have a move that heals you? No! No! That's not what we wanted! Ah, uh, 
Rude. So one of my managers at work had an extra one that they just traded to me. Uh, cause I kept miss- I had missed it when it come- when it had come through both times. So they were nice enough to just, uh, trade me one. So that's the only reason I have a Verizian in, uh, Pokemon Go. Aw, oh, dang, this is actually worse that this one can heal themselves. Giga, Giga Drain is not great. Now what's Giga Drain's, uh, power points? Ten. Okay, so it only has ten points. We'll just slash it. Until it KOs us, which I think will be right now. Cool. Um, so it's used two. It's used two of its uh, ten allotted. So that's not terrible. We just need to make sure, just at hope it uses all of it. Or just stops using it altogether. That, that would also work. Alright, you're down at 1 HP. Please use Helping Hand to, like four more times. My first ever Legendary in Go is Verizion. Oh, that's awesome. That's nice. Yeah, I just missed it its first time through. I got Combellion and... Oh, it goes for Giga Drain. Alright, what, what does it go up to? That goes up to like 10% health. If it's at... Uh, Dusk Ball... Not, I wish it was level 22. Actually, its level doesn't even change its catch rate. Um, if it's at, uh, let's say 10%, which it isn't. It doesn't change it by much, but it is a difference. And it's gonna Giga Drain twice. Alright, so it's used four times. That sucks. We land the Hypnosis, at least. Because we're gonna have to waste two turns... Switching into Samurott. And then false swiping it again. I, it's gonna end up waking up, I think. I think it's gonna end up waking up before we can even throw a dust ball at it. If I can crit a uh, false swipe here. See, it's not at 1 HP right now. Okay, alright, we get we get to at least throw one ball before it wakes up. We hit throw, that was the critical that I wanted. Alright, an 18% chance. An 18.106% chance. Pops immediately out. I have a 50% chance of catching it within four balls. Does it go? No, it goes. Okay. I was expecting it to immediately go for uh, Giga Drain. Right, back to Masharna. Maybe it'll go for Helping Hand again, and it'll just keep, stop doing Giga Drain, but I doubt it. Okay. Can you give me one more Giga Drain? Or one more hit, hit, yeah, 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 yeah. do it again, do it again, do it again. Retaliate, retaliate, it's also fine. Perfect. Alright, so an 18.106% chance, uh, which means we have a 95% chance within 15 balls. We didn't have 15. We had 14, so that's close enough, right? Theoretically, as if math is in our favor, we'll catch it within these Dusk Balls. Which matches, like, the ball matches Verizion's look, so I'm down here for it. Are any of you people who like to, uh, like, match the Pokeball to the Pokemon... I don't always go out of my way to do it, but sometimes it is really cool to, to put it in, like, a ball that matches it. Um, it's really fun, too. Don't wake up. Dick. And it goes for the Giga Drain. What a dick. Like, you're not even giving me a single shake, and then you're just gonna hit... You're gonna hit that on... I'm gonna go for Yawn, so that way it doesn't have a chance to wake up when I switch. Because it'll fall asleep when, uh... Samurai comes in. I think that might be the smarter play. And just hope it doesn't go for another Giga Drain. If it goes for another Giga Drain, it's going to get itself back if we're going to need to fall swipe twice. Now it'll fall asleep. Hopefully it stays asleep for the maximum amount of turns. Still asleep. Alright, put it down to 1 HP. Thank you. The music for 
Uh, the three of them is great. It has so much energy to it. Man, these Dusk Balls. I want a refund from these Dusk Balls. They aren't even shaking once. I want a refund. They're supposed to be the highest catch rate that we have outside of using a Master Ball. And they're not even shaking once. I want to I wanna refund now. Of my living decks and DDSP is all in Pokeballs. That's the other thing. It's like sometimes it's like, yeah, I just want them all in a Pokeball. Like, that's cool too. I don't want to go to Litwick because of Flame Body. I don't want to accidentally burn it and kill it. Sacred. This might kill. No. If it critted, it would have been close. Sacred Sword. Don't crit. I literally said don't crit. Didn't you hear me? I said don't crit. We have revived. It's not a big deal. It just adds extra time to this. Nope. We aren't going to use a max revive. We will save that for the Elite Four. Because we will definitely need it then. We don't need it now. It definitely hasn't used all of its uh, Giga Drain, so I'm surprised that it, it has stopped Giga Draining. I'm very surprised that it has stopped Giga Draining, because it hasn't used all of those yet. Now, as soon as I switch this, it's going to start Giga Draining. No, Sacred Sword again. Yeah, I was expecting a Giga Drain. I think it's been a while since it's Giga Drain. It's going... I think that's its sixth Giga Drain. So it has like four left. Alright, so it'll fall asleep next turn. Do not Giga Drain again, please. Or do. I don't care at this point. I think I'm just going to start tossing Ultra Balls at it, because these Dusk Balls are not doing anything. I was getting a much better return off Ultra Balls, which doesn't make any sense to me. Because this is technically a dark space. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna start checking Ultra Balls out. Because Ultra Balls are 11% chance, but... It was giving me... Giving me better numbers than uh, even when attempting to catch the uh, Chameleon. Just, just shake once. That's all I'm asking for. I'm asking for a single shake. All I'm all I'm requesting here. There we go. So upsetting. And it immediately wakes up again. Uh, and these Sacred Swords are just doing so much damage. Do Dusk Balls work better in Forest? Like, supposedly. Supposedly they're supposed to. Uh, but that's why I've just given up on it. That's whatever. That's your seventh Giga Drain. So you should almost be out of Giga Drains. I have three left. I've, I've just given up with Dusk Balls. I'm just going to use, use all the rest of my Ultra Balls. We're either going to catch it or we aren't going to catch it today. If we don't get it in the Ultra Balls we have left, uh, I don't know. I mean, I'll, I, I can reload and get all my Ultra Balls back. That's not a big deal. Uh, if we run out of balls, we just reload. All right, went for Helping Hand. Still has the three left. I think it's three. I wasn't counting perfectly. Back down to 1 HP. And Ultra Ball. And, it, and it's not, it wasn't wasteful of money to buy those anyways, because I'll just use them in uh, Victory Road to get uh, Fracture and Dino. Because I, I need two Fractures. This music's great, it's too heavy. I'm like, I'm done with it though. Come on, Verizian. 
This one, this one is definitely the more irritating capture because it has the ability to Giga Drain. We've definitely spent more time attempting to catch this one than we did uh, Chameleon. We're, we're definitely not doing Terrakion today. Uh, I honestly still feel like it. Oh my, why did that? I know it's super effective, but... Was still not expecting it to do that much. Wow. That did almost 100 damage to me. I mean, if I stay in Samurott, it's going to keep Giga Draining because it is super effective. I think it has one one left, and then it'll be back to full health. Whatever, go back to full health. I don't care. At least I'll be done with your Giga Drains. Didn't even have... Didn't even... Couldn't even Giga Drain for me. There it is. That should be their final Giga Drain. If I did my counting correctly, that should be their final Giga Drain. Which should make this whole whole thing a lot easier, because it should have no way to heal itself anymore. What sucks, though, is it uses, it's used a lot of its other moves, so it could also be getting close. I don't know. How much does Sacred Sword have? Like, it could be getting close. Sacred Sword is 20. Um, so it should be close to, uh, to struggling yet. Um, another slash, a crit slash will kill. Can I get a, a crit, uh, false swipe, though? Sacred Sword, Sacred Sword me all you want. And there we go, down to 1 HP. We need to heal Musharna, because they'll die if we swap into them. Bam, 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 bam. Now you go for the Elvic Hand, sure. Alright, we're just gonna make sure you're at 1 HP. Or you kill me. Either way, that's fine. I just want to be able to... Uh... Okay, you're at 1 HP. We're gonna Fall Swipe again, so that way it'll take me out, hopefully. Or it's not gonna take me out. That's fine. I just wanted you to kill me so I get a free... Whatever, we'll just... We'll just go, we'll just go to Marshana. I just wanted a free swap to Marshana without it getting hurt. Maybe it'll just spam Helping Hand some more. Or no, finally goes for Sacred Sword. How much does Helping Hand have? Helping Hand's also 20, so that's nice. Um, go for Hypnosis. Uh, I don't know what its fourth move is. Sacred Sword, Giga Drain, Helping Hand. Have we seen a fourth move from it? I don't know that we have. I would love for it to be Swords Dance, so that way you could just sit here just... No, Swords Dance is level 49. Um, oh no, Retaliate. Retaliate was its other move. We have seen it use Retaliate, so we know all three of its moves. So it's... Retaliate's only five power, so it's already used up all its Retaliates, I assume. I think we're probably ten turns off from a uh, struggle. Dude, give me one shake. You're not even going to shake once and then you're going to wake up. Come on, don't avoid the attack. And the more we can, the, the faster we can put it back to sleep, the longer to be before it can struggle itself. So if it struggles once, it KOs itself at 1 HP. <clears throat> Come on, give me two shakes. Two shakes is what I'm requesting here. Not a catch, two shakes is what I'm requesting. Not a single shake. That's fine too, I guess. Two shakes, that's all I'm asking for. Thank you, you can pop out now. No, pop out, pop out, don't catch, pop out. Thank you. I was like, I just wanted the two shakes, I don't want to catch. Alright, now I'm requesting three shakes. Not a catch, just three shakes. Can you do that for me, Verzion? Let's trust each other. It's all about you, you wanting to trust your people more, right? I don't, I don't want to catch you, I just want you to shake three times. I really can't catch you that time. Can't be saying that. Alright, 
<clears throat> Another Ultra Ball. Alright, do you like me enough this time? Can you give me one? Can you give me one? No. Okay. You're, you're being a bit rude here, Verizion. I'm be honest with you. You're being super rude. That's okay, though. That's okay. We still have 15 to go. This thing just doesn't want to get into the ball. It does not want to stay. One, two, three. Thank you. Oh my gosh. That took so long. Our 553rd Pokemon to be added to the Living Dex is Verizion. That was easy. That was the opposite of easy. Its head sprouts horns as sharp as blades. Using whirlwind-like movements, it confounds and swiftly cuts opponents. Absolutely terrifying. Absolutely terrifying. Verizion, you're done. All we need is Trachyon as the other legendary friend we can get here. Well, actually, it's not the other legendary. I think we can get one of the... Um... Tornadus, we get the Sword and Shipment. I think we can get Thunderous in this game. And maybe even Landorus. Um, Verizion. And here. Thunderous. No, you just hate it when you feel a sneeze coming and it doesn't happen. Um, Thunderous. Trade from Pokemon right. Roaming in the... Roaming... Oh, this is a... I hate roaming encounters. Alright, so that's a roam Pokemon. Um, Tornadus. We can't get in this one, evidently. Uh, Tornadus is a black exclusive and is not in black and white too. Uh, so in doing so, we will get it in Generation 6. Um, no, we won't get it in Generation 6. I mean, we could go back to Omega Ruby to get it. But we'll get it in the Ultra Space Wilds in Ultra Sun. Because Ultra Sun is the one we're playing, right? If not, we'll get it in Sword Shield. I can't remember which one we're playing as of yet. Um, so if we go back here... Um, Landorus, the Abundant Shrine, so that's just an Interact one. So that's just one we just get. Alright, we don't just get, we still have to catch it, but it's at least a little easier to get it. Um, Mileto, Genesec, those are both event Pokemon we already have. Uh, Kiram, I believe we get in Black 2. Yeah, and the Giant Oh, we can also get it in White, and White evidently. We can also get it in white, I guess. Okay, that's cool. So we'll get that here. We'll get Landorus here. We'll get Zekrom. We'll get Thunderous. That and Tecreon. We'll still get Tecreon at some point. That cleans up a lot of that stuff for us. Uh, we'll get Tecreon uh, next stream. Uh, after I save up Can I fly out of Pitbull Forest? Looks like I can. Cool. Uh, so next stream, we will make our way up Route 10. We'll make it uh, to Victory Road, and we'll go through Victory Road. I I don't know if we're gonna take on if we're gonna take on the Elite Four in the next stream because I I don't know what plot happens before then because we still don't have Zekrom yet. Uh, I don't know if you get them before the Elite Four or not, and Bulbapedia hasn't been working today to give me that info. Um, so. Next episode, though, in between this and our next stream, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go back to that uh, Driftbill, the drawbridge, and I'm just going to run back and forth uh, and get as many of those uh, wings as I can uh, to, get ourselves, uh, to get ourselves some more money. Um, and then next time, we're going to get both Litwick and Palpatode to evolve, because they're both a level away. Litwick, how much were you away? 
You were 500 experience away. Actually, you know what? <clears throat> Let's just run onto Route 10 and find, like, the first trainer there and get Litwick's evolution. Because we're just so close to Litwick evolving. Bum, bum. Because I don't think I'm going to do any grinding in between next steps. Oh. Hey, trainer, do you have a minute? I just heard this on the Extriever. There's a big storm on Route 7, and the storm seems to be different uh, from the natural phenomenon. So strange. Okay. I, I'll need to look up what that means. Um... Because I, I have no idea. Uh, Pokemon White Strange Storm Route 7. Um, bum, bum. Oh, okay. So that means Tornadus or Thunderous is on that route. Oh, okay. Dope. That's what that means. All right. Good to know. All right. All I'm going to do is fight this person. Um, there are also randomly three items back there. We'll save all that for next time. Because uh, we're going to get in the grass. There are two Pokemon. Uh, I think there's more than just two Pokemon on this map that we need. Uh, no, Rufflet and uh, Bofalent and Thoros. There are three Pokemon we need to capture here. On Route 10. What's the level here? 39? Oh, that's actually a very similar level. Um, can I will whisk you? Scary face, drop my speed significantly. That's fine. Crunch, that's gonna hurt a lot. Okay, we need to. I'm too slow. I'm way too slow, and you're gonna just kill me. We just need to switch him to someone else. Bubble Soda, you're not too far under. We'll just go to you. Maybe you can take some hits, because you can also evolve. In this fight, that'd be kind of, oh, you definitely wave off. Like, you're, you're much lower health. You're, you have a lot further to go until you get enough experience to evolve. That did not do that. I was hoping that was going to do a little bit more. High jump kick, just miss. Ah, uh, if you could miss the high jump kick, that'd be great. Bloody water. Can, can I get a crit? Hey, there we go. Not a crit, but we KO. Ah, shoot, Palpatoad's actually very close to evolving. And also, that was not enough for Litwick to evolve, so we're gonna have to switch into Litwick here. And then switch out, so that way Litwick... God, oh, man, look how close they are to evolution there. Oh, uh, let's switch to Samurai. And watch it like they have Pursuit and they just take me out. That'd be so upset. Okay, they go for Combine. That's fine. Tis fine. Because if you end up taking out Samurai, we'll just switch into uh, Palpatode. And see if they can outspeed you to take you out. But, oh man, very close. Wait, you Combine and then you High Jump Kicked? Combine just... Okay, alright. Interesting play. Interesting play. Litwick goes up to level 41. Palpatode also levels up to the evolution. And we're going to end this at 555. That's a solid number to end at. What? Litwick is evolving. And we already have another uh, Litwick in our PC, so we're good. We also already have another Lampet in our PC. So we just need to find a dust stone to get Chandelure. Hey, there we have Lampet. Welcome to the Living Dex. Very exciting, and we'll pop you in there. And then we just need a dust stone. Bum, bum. What? Palpatode is evolving. Our 555th Pokemon to be added to the Living Dex. One that I put off for a long time, and I'm glad I did. I'm glad I didn't try and level up one of them, because it's so much easier to just find them evolved later down the line. We have ourselves a Seismitoad. Pop in here. And click. Very nice. Wants to learn Acid? Sure. I don't I don't intend to uh, to really use this mod. I know it's, a, it's like a solid Pokemon. I don't intend to use it, though. Have no intentions of using it. 
So like I said, there's still three Pokemon we can catch on this route. We'll get a ton of uh, ton of additional levels in the next in the next stream as well, which will be nice. Um, do I have a Dusk Stone on me? I doubt it. We'll just need to find where a Dusk Stone is to get that next number up. But I think 555 is a fun place to uh, to bring this stream to a close. Let's see where else we're gonna throw on the team for our travel through Victory Road. Um. We can also we'll pull Go Golut back. Next stream, we will get Golut's evolution uh, into Go Alert because we're just two levels away from that one of them. Uh, and we're probably close to being done with level 41 as well. But in between streams, I don't think I'm going to do too much grinding uh, other than just grinding money so I can get a ton of Ultra Balls. Uh, cause that's, that's the big thing that we need. Verizion, we are all done with you. Um, thank you for being so irritating to catch. That is sarcasm. I am not thankful for that at all. Um, do you automatically heal when you come into PC? You do. So we actually have no idea. I think they were out of, uh, out of Giga Drake, but there's no way for me to check. Um, we'll get the two of them next time around. Hopefully, I think I'll get, I'll try and get Ducklet a few levels just so they're close to evolving. Um, and then good old Frillish. Welcome to the evolution portion of the area. Um, I will take your EXP share. We will give it to them. And Seismitoad, you can move to the end. Musharn is only sitting on the team right now because we need them for hypnosis. Um, that's the only reason Golut's not with us. Uh, but we'll see what happens with that. But, thank you all so much for watching. This is where I'm going to be bringing today's stream to a close. With a really successful day. Added, uh, like a good... Almost 15 Pokemon to the living decks. Like, that's pretty exciting. We went from 543 to 555. Added 12 Pokemon to the living decks. I will take that. That is a successful day. Thank you all so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. That was easy. That was so easy. And our next stream... Um, our next stream is actually going to be back over on YouTube. Uh... It's going to be back over on YouTube. We'll be back live on... Oh my gosh, are you talking in the... On, in Twitch? Oh, you are. You said I am now, Wiz. Notice me. I'm sorry I didn't notice you earlier. Uh, I'm so sorry. I'll do better in the future. Uh, our next stream, we will be live over on Twitch on Friday at 6 p.m. EST. We're going to be playing Pokemon Unbound. We're going to be starting that playthrough on Friday. Uh, that's going to be our new... Uh, Twitch series that gets uploaded to YouTube. The first episode of that to be uploaded to YouTube uh, will be February 1st. No, not February 1st. February 2nd. So February 2nd, uh, we will see Pokemon Unbound uploaded to YouTube, but we're going to start playing it this Friday, 6 p.m. EST. So definitely think, uh, come hang out. Thank you all for the fun today. Our first two members, which is really exciting. Uh, you all have a wonderful day. And like I said, I will, uh, I'll see you Friday. Peace. Bye-bye.